Hi, so apologies. Um, essentially, uh, I take a lot of jump breaks this time. There's a few little edits as well as a result of that. Um, essentially, uh, I drink a lot of water during sessions. You may notice uh, in some of the hour and stuff and that. Um, the problem is, it's really great because I don't get a sore throat at the end of the night. It's really bad because it goes right through me. Like, it's sugar free and everything, and it just rinses. So, yeah. Um, there's a few little weird cuts where things are, it, it's a case that I, I just went to the toilet and whenever, you know, whenever someone goes to the toilet, like if I go to the toilet, they, they just fill the time with like dumb tangents, which is hilarious to listen to, um, but it serves the story nothing, uh, bar waste time, and I don't want to breach forever, so yeah, um, apologies. <laughs> Speaking of suffering, uh... Haku, you suffered enough to re recap, right? What's that? Sorry. You suffered enough to recap last session. I know I normally do it, but this time, uh, this time I'm making you do it because. Oh shit! I don't remember what happened last <laughs> time. Let's see. We found ourselves in our some room. We went out the room, saw some bushes, which had some groots in them. We slowly made our way in, saw three druids with their magic tree. Um, Blair, is it? Burned it. We killed some of the druids, captured one, then went back up the hole. Talk about oversimplification, but technically so speaking, <laughs> all correct. We killed beat a frog to death. Killed the druid. <laughs> Ruby was like, I'm gonna speak to the frog. Frog was like, nah, you have, you, you're plague bringers. You dutty. And it was like, oh, fuck it. Burn the place down, take a rest, and fly up the hole. Opened the chest, realised that the chest hey, hi, was hello. empty. I keep forgetting, I need to turn that shit off. But, eventually, uh, now up here, all good. Ignore the other token that's there right now. That's just there, so you know, so the person can, can see. see. What is this? What is that? What's this? What's this? This, this white shit everywhere. What the fuck? Now who is Where this guy? Are... He's not who here. Who are right these now. people? They're not there right now. We know. I'm Kill them. Your imagination. <laughs> Loot <Not> them. <laughs> <laughs> Morgax, hold me. No. Nah. Haku, hold Blair. <laughs> <laughs> hold up. Um, so we have one of the druid, um, Sir Bradford, is it? Believe he was Sir Bradford, yeah. I'll double check just now the names. Uh, yes, Sir Bradford. Okay, so Haku's gonna open his little notebook. Did we kill all the goblins? We're supposed no. to kill all the goblins, right? No. What is We're supposed to bring back the druid and the egg or the dragon. But we talked to the dragon. Yeah. And I the mean, didn't want to leave. We kind of promised the kobolds. Right, but we can find their pet, right? I mean, I mean, I didn't see anything else down the edge of you guys. I mean, we saw the dragon. Nah. It seemed to be... Just didn't want to leave. I forgot Ooh. why exactly. I think he just wanted to be left alone. Ah, uh, yes. White dragons don't really like... People. Well... I mean, the kobolds aren't going to take that as an answer. We could. Well, if the kobolds put up a fight... Mogak makes well, a gesture of punching. <laughs> the Cobalt can just come and get it, right? Come get their oh, dragon, since there are normal goblins here. Yeah, I'll let's check let's, around here. I'd say let's tell a let's tell a white lie. Oh wait, there's a door over here. Let's tell a white dragon. Yeah. You open oh, the door. Um, Roll initiative. <laughs> In this door, there's a number. I need to read the room first, and then we'll see how it goes. You know, I, I need to take a vibe check of the entire room. <laughs> uh, 
The stench of garbage and carry-on in here is evidence of years of its unsanitary tenants. Tattered hides stretch across frames of six unstable hammocks around a mulch, a much used fire pit. Battered cooking utensils and equipment are mixed indiscriminately with broken and worn arms and armour. You see a few goblins just sitting there just eating fuck knows what out of this pot. It's, it's no bueno. No bueno at all. And she's gonna turn, she's gonna turn and look at you. I'm gonna say, Hello? Boss Gob, Boss Gobble says go to sleep and close the door. <laughs> After a little moment, you just hear. <laughs> Three goblins in there, guys. Aren't we supposed to kill them? I mean, we're we're only supposed to find the dragon, right? Not kill the goblins, right? We found the. Yeah, we dealt with enough. I know. I'm checking the my nose. The dragon doesn't want to leave. But I mean, honestly, the goblins seem to be working with the plague in some degree. So it's crying about losing a dragon. Yeah. I mean, I feel like maybe we should maybe kill the goblins regardless. Or I mean, we could just ask them questions. I mean, they kind of seem out of she it. She wants us to kill some goblins and get their dragon back. We found them. the dragon. We just have to kill some goblins, and we did kill some goblins. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many we killed some. <laughs> they, she, should be, she should have been specific. <laughs> I, I think we need to come to think of it. We need to get back to the goblins, but I am worried that the plague might spread with us. What plague? The whole... I mean, didn't, didn't the didn't Bri, the frog? Bri is. Yeah. Bree does have the plague. The blight. I mean. I mean, yes, don't... the frog mentioned oh, it. What? Oh, sorry. Brie, are you okay? A blight. What was that? Yeah. Are you okay, Brie? Yep. Did but you wait. get something? I was... When we started burning down the tree, the uh, the tree and started to die out. Is this this plant guy in the room here? Is he also like looking weaker? Yes. He's looking. Weaker. Uh, not not sure how much weaker a thing with four hit points could look, but like you know, <laughs> it has negative four hit points. <laughs> you heal from killing it. Oh, I feel it's, like it says weathering, welting, bark cracking. Are you, are you sick, Bree? No. Are you sure? Well, as, as far as I'm aware, I'm, I'm feeling fine. I think that it would just be a good idea to maybe rest outside of town for a few days, see if the, the druid is fully purged of the the blight. I mean, the, the druid looked better, right? But he wasn't fully himself yet. The druid look was worse? held. But then we no, tied we, up. We, 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 tied we have one tied up. That wasn't yeah. the druid. Fuck. You said... I the Sir, Sir Bradford. Sir, think of that name for a minute. Sir Bradford. It's sir. a druid knight. You described oh, yeah. them as three. You said they were Anyone three could be a sir. Did I describe them as three druids? Yes. Yes. Guys, yeah, guys, druid, you're forgetting yeah. one thing. The woman told us that she's going to die in 24 hours anyways. So if the others were also infected, then we can assume they are also going to die in 24 hours or something. Oh, oh baby. Reggie. We might want to wake his ass up and ask what's going on. I mean, uh, yes. Head cannon, Haku's just dragging him around like a fucking. like a used <laughs> sack condom. Of potatoes. Oh, I don't oh, think it's no, like potatoes. I... Jesus. Haku's hung like a horse, right? Why do you drag Jesus. around your condoms? Do you just. do you use them? What the fuck? I don't know. I don't Why know is what's that going the with person analogy? You got it, my... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Like a sack of potatoes. A skeet blanket? You know, I don't know. Just a cum filled rubber. <laughs> Alright, right. Let's move Very on. Very well used. Yeah. 
Yeah. What? Let's get some horrible oh, implications, I... actually. Yes, please, let's okay. move on. Yeah, Haku, I'd say he's just, like, dragging this guy by the leg the entire time he's just are walking. He's just, like, out for the count. Yeah, I try to wake him up. Uh, hold still, Bree. I'm gonna try to use lay on hands on Bree. Okay. My last point. To Give heal or to cure? How many points did you have? One. Oh. You uh, need right. five. Give yourself you plus one cure, uh, cure disease or neutralize any poison. No, you need you need five Leon hands to specifically do that. You do? Yes. Yes. Yep. Oh, never mind then. Can I, I just want to then? Can I try to wake up this Sir Bradford? Yep. I'd say you know, give him a little slap or whatever. He's gonna line the Wake up! <coughs> wake up! Uh, this. Hmm. Hi. So, Blake boy, what's going on here? I'm currently lying on the floor of a shit-filled area, looking up at a shit-eating bastard. Yeah, maybe don't call him Blake boy, Mulgax. Uh, all right, no, we uh. All right, Twink, you do it. We were sent to come <laughs> after you and the druids. That you'd gone down there to fight the blight or find its cause. We found you worshipping it with a few others. Okay. And? Do you have recollection of that? I remember everything. 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 He looks to the others. So why why weren't you guys stopping the blight? What happened to your mission? We were stopping the blight. And the tree required energy. And then he was attacked. Hmm. <laughs> that ain't even funny. Oh. That that ain't even funny. <laughs> but I was actually just about to ask, could I roll insight to see if like he's telling the truth or that at least he believes it? Uh, yeah, 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 just uh you know, you gotta be a natural twin. <laughs> what is that? Oh oh no. Yeah, I, I just I'd been clicked on Ruby. Uh Yeah. I mean, it adds up, right? You were told that the tree required some form of energy in order to, you know, do away with its dark dealings, you know, to help fight the blight there, to help spread it out. You were told about this. Um, and then but Bree why... attacked. I thought that was Blair. No, it was Bree. Oh, it was Bree this time. Wow. That's surprise. It really did sound like something Blair would do. <laughs> uh, um, fuck! It wasn't me. Are you sure? <laughs> I was kind of disappointed in myself. I didn't attack first on that one, but Blair would be like, "The tree is the source of the blight. It's also the cure to the blight. The tree was poisoned by the vampire staked underneath it. Then." If we had given the tree enough energy, it would have fought the blight and been able to spread out and cure the damage it's done. Ah, uh, why? Just what kind just of energy? Is it is it undeath? Is that the secret? That's the plague. Mm hmm. What was the cure? So what happens the now that the tree kind of burned down accidentally? Yeah. <laughs> Killed the tree. 
You no. Killed? It was you an accident. 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 You have killed the tree. Uh, go ahead and roll against that if you want. Against what? He may have made a roll. You can roll your appropriate roll against it if you like. Yeah, I'm, I want to make, make a roll myself too. Guess insight. Um. Could I not make an insight check, but a medicine check to see, like, how, like, out of it he is? Like, is he not in his right mind? Yeah, make a medicine like, is check. This, is this, like, some influencing him? No, but he's pointed. perfectly fine. Wow. I got a 23 on the insight. Cool, a d20 of no, his rolled is what I'll say there. Uh... Can I roll history to, to see if, if I remember reading about anything similar? So, Dirty 20 for Molgax, um, Haku is a Five. 37, Dirty 20, 37, uh, and Elfa, you were saying you want to roll what exactly, again, sorry? History to see if I remember reading or hearing something about something similar somewhere. I think you rolled this last time. Whilst you were in there. I did. I think either way, I'll let you roll again. Okay, thanks. I think I was the one that ro ro rolled it, and I think I didn't get anything. Or I wasn't, or like... Yeah, no, no, no never mind. <laughs> it's a great session so far. Well, yeah, I rolled pretty high. <laughs> right As he looks... A fuse didn't destroy the tree, but the tree is being destroyed. Then the plague shall spread from everything that it has already infected. Spread out through, up and down the Sword Coast, up through Faerun, into Curator. Then, when it's done with the land, it will take the seas, through the Tackless okay. Sea to the island. This just are seems you, like. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, it it seems weaker, but I mean, if it's, it kind of makes sense. Okay. Two things. Thing. One, fire seemed really effective. Why not just burn the source of the plague? I mean, because it... now everything that was infected with the plague is the source of. I am the source of the plague. That, throws his head towards the twig plate, is the source of the plague. Did anybody happen to come across a pinkish, purplish liquid? Or any did we watch uh -oh. Blair drink? I think we did. So it no, not there. Bree. Bree. Uh, Bree. Bree. Sorry, get your names confused. Turns to, Bree. Turns to no, Bree no. and then would go to step away. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. not, not really. I feel like we need to we need to isolate them. Bree. Get in the hole, Bree. No. Didn't you get drink in the fucking something. hole, Bree. No, that was, that was just, you know, a little... I literally little... watched you drink it. That, that was soup. <laughs> I Bri, literally you take... watched you drink it. Bree, if you take one yes. step closer, I'm gonna shoot you and get in the hole. What now? <laughs> I'm gonna, if you take one step closer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot an arrow at you. You, you gotta go hold back on, in the on. hole. You gotta go back sure in the hole. Blight, sir Blight Boy, Sir Blight Boy. Um, what about this pink liquid? But hypothetically, someone drank it. <laughs> Then, hypothetically, that person's the source of the plague. But and you have just destroyed that the source. only cure. Okay, I highly doubt that's the only cure. Surely we can replicate it. Or at least find an alternate me. Then a freaky deaky tree with freaky deaky followers. Find another, find another Gothias tree, you mean? 
I mean, yeah. you know, cure be peed out and collect it again. I feel like this is above our pay grade. And we need to go find someone that knows more than us immediately. We need to find does, the adult in the room. Does we need to go find Balak, a scientist. Does Balak still exist? Or did you just kill him too? Who is Balak? I, I think him. I punched a guy. The woman ran off okay. though. Balak was Can that you a describe druid? Balak? Older gentleman. It was a druid. The man who put his hands on your friend before she thunderclapped. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bree, that was not the smartest move. <laughs> it's me. He's creepy. I, I, I... Is he still alive? Don't think no. so. I don't, don't think so. Then the only man capable Unlikely. of synthesizing the cure is also dead. You walk around with a plague bearer. You shall be known as plague bearers. Okay. Oh. I remember hearing about the, this being like super against druid tradition, so why go after this particular angle? What angle? Why go for something that most druids are find abhorrent? Instead of something uh, actually good, such as expanding the natural magics of nature, that thing that all do it strive for. I hardly think a vampire steak is natural. It's not, no, but cleansing the tree was. And I cleansed it. You killed the tree. Therefore, it cannot be cleansed, for its roots are still in the ground, poisoning the ground, poisoning the forest, through the dirt, up into the land, through the underdark. Had Wait, the going tree, through the underdark, you say? Every plant-based life form. And then, when it's done with those, every organic based life form. Did Could you see the rats? Looks over uh -huh. at Haku. <laughs> um, I'll bring out Fat Rat. What about the rats? It burns made of wood. Does it struggle to move? Does it seem like it's in pain? I'm gonna do a check on Fat Rat, see if it's all right. Animal handling or medicine? I, guess, I was gonna say or medicine. I think you went the same modifier in both anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Looks like a rat. It seems fine. I'll give Fat Rat another reaction. Fat man with his fat rat. The rat kind of eats mm. away at it. Once Could we not... the plants are gone, the humans and animals are next. Could we not just burn I mean, the roots? It's weird. Of every plant in the world? Sure. No, the the tree. What part of it's in the soil do you fail to comprehend? I mean, we Can we dig, dig it up? up? Yeah, we just get some shovels. Fool's folly. What about the other druid? Would she know how to make a cure? The apprentice. Yeah. The druid. No. And I'm getting conflicting information. You says the the yeah. one who hypothetically hypothetically drank the pink fluid is now the source of the plague. She okay. is a plague but, bearer. Also, so, but the pink fluid is also the cure. No. Is that right? No. Can, can I? You know what? Let me let me try to help here a little bit. Let's say that the. Uh, the plague was 
like like a like a hive mind, right? It it had one source of origin, right? That was sort of you know the the leading like head of it, right? It was sort of guiding the actions and whatnot that could be cured, right? And if that was cured, then it would affect all of the plague. But now that it's gone, all the plague is by itself just mindlessly trying to reproduce and spread. Let me put it in terms for the druids. Think of fungal spores. The plague is a single piece of fungi. It opens up its gills, it throws out over the land, and all it needs is the natural energy. One single mushroom becomes ten. Ten becomes a hundred. A hundred becomes a thousand. And it keeps going. And each time you destroy even one percent, the growth already goes exponentially. The one percent that you have destroyed was one percent at that moment, but is now merely one-tenth of a percent. The pink People just need fruit. to wear a mask. Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> and really? quarantine themselves, right? <laughs> just stay inside for a week if you feel a bit sick. <laughs> well, I really wish Briar... I almost said Blair again. Uh, I really wish Briar was a bit more... Uh, Cautious, like looking over at her. But I, yeah, absolutely. Well, I did nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Uh, I'm sure your brain cells, however few you have, agree with you. Now then, are you sure there's no other means that we can look towards after our folly? I mean, we should. Ask the goblins, maybe. They were researching it. The goblins? Mm -hmm. Really? Goblins. Yeah, we didn't kill all the goblins. We didn't kill the ones The that ones that told her to drink the pink stuff. Well, no, I'm not saying we, you know... Not those specific goblins. I mean, I assume maybe some of them might be smarter or might have research that we could translate. I mean, it's an idea. <clears throat> two, two goblins questions. are not known to be smart. Two questions. One, do you speak Goblin? I mean, like, sometimes when I squint and tilt my head, it kind of looks like Draconic. I hate but you. But no, I also Anyways. speak Draconic. Second, yeah, I'm pretty sure the smartest ones are already dead in that room over there, pointing at the Hobgoblins in, like, the other room. <laughs> Why don't we ask... Ballsack. Oh uh, yes, your cave. Ah uh, yes, your cave town lover. Got Are you it. Jealous, Mogax? Absolutely not. Ugh. Stop bringing up me and my ball sag then. <laughs> well, what's done is done. Well, how about I tell you uh... about dragon teeth? If you're not gay, keep this ball sag out your mouth. <laughs> oh, you're never related to Candice. Okay, sorry, back on the track. Is there really no other way to fix it? There was, but judging by everything you said, you killed the only man that could, destroyed the only other means that we had, so... My friends, with the utmost respect, you kinda fucked. Well, actually, no, this was Bree's fault. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go find God. But I did nothing. Which religion has the best afterlife? I <laughs> <laughs> just want to get like a heads up. I'm, I, I really don't have to like prove my faith if we're all oh, gonna try do Bahamut. Bahamut. Eh. Man. Isn't he the one that <laughs> sent you back? To the <laughs> real what, uh, back? But we're he's not we're a very benevolent god then. We're dragging yeah, our well, feet here. We I need to. Do something. Well, 
can't do anything right now. We can't even be sure that this guy is telling the truth. I mean, also, that, that would be really you, convenient you, for you, wouldn't it, Plague Bearer? Get in the fucking hole. Also, wait, isn't Balsag in the hole? Shit. Here, lover boy, how about you go talk to um, Balsag? No, I think we need to go maybe pull bolts or steal the goblins' research and take it to someone that could translate it. I hate to agree with you, but that sounds like the best plan so far. And, I have phone languages. and if the plague is spreading through its previous victims we we can't have the rat wait a minute. or haku's pet Three. wait a minute, wait Three. A minute. no wait a minute. scottish I let's be honest here yeah. about it, aren't there spells that can like purify a portion of land uh like cleanse the land like i'm trying to think like druid grove i i guess but there's like spells that specifically like consecrate a land to make it like hello you know the opposite of how i know what you mean yeah Holy uh, ceremony 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 what is it blessed i don't know no those are too small scale i know there's ones that like handle like large areas wish there is there is one i'm trying to remember the name of it it's not coming to me um consecrate It might be damaged though. No, um. Mm. I think, uh. Opposite of D and D Hallow spell. <laughs> <laughs> Unhallow! Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's, that's not a spell, but like... Maybe it is just another version of the hollow spell. 24 hours. Consecration but... is a second level spell. You better be... Nope, that's a different thing entirely. That is not... That's Pathfinder. Oh, yeah, nice. Um... It was a third edition spell, however, Consecrate. Damn, that can't help us here. <laughs> Cause I could one there's a 5e one too. Well What spells in 5e though? Cause I was gonna ask, uh, would Molgax know of that and then we could try to maybe find a caster that can well cast it. I mean as I I think it would be a spell the same level as Halo. And Hallow in and of itself is fifth level. Fifth level. Um, we could do a hunt for a fifth level caster, maybe. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm looking at Hallow here. Tongue, silence, fear, extra dimensional, everlasting rest, energy vulnerability, protection, daylight, darkness, courage. What about Temple of the Gods? That's a spell? No. That is an actual spell? I'm gonna link it in general. Yeah, I found it. I mean, worst case, wish would work. Yes, clerics. Yeah, spells. we're gonna find wish. <laughs> oh my god, Temple of the Gods. That's fucking spell. That's an actual spell, apparently. That's an actual fucking spell. <laughs> Seventh level abjuration, Temple of Shimmering, fuck's sake. Either way, mm -hmm. whilst we all figure this one out, I'm going to notate that one. Find the opposite of Hallow spell. Oh, find, <laughs> find cleansing spell. But uh, yeah, that was my attempt. But yeah, I guess we're just going to interrogate some gerblins and kerbeets. <clears throat> 
I don't think they'll know anything about this blight, but... Well, let's go back to the kobolds for now, I guess. Yes? Dragging this guy with you? Yep. yep. Are we sure we don't want to just him? He is also technically a plague bearer. Um, we're meant to find this guy. That's no, we're meant job. to find the druid. Specifically. We, we kind of fucked up and killed the wrong guy. I thought he was the druid. Maybe if it uh, helps you in any way. I'm technically a paladin. Oh. What's your oath? Broken. But you said you got you got kicked out of the circle. Yeah. You said that. Yeah, he is the one who said that. Yes. Balak said that. Balak. So, uh, what was your oath before it was broken? Nature. Nature. Ah. Ancient. I should have guessed that. Yeah. Ancient. So we really you know, can't trust this guy. I mean. Why don't we just kill him? Well, hold on here. Because since We're... you destroyed the tree, I have 24 hours to live anyway. So I might as well try to seek out my family and spend it with them before it's too late. Wouldn't you just spread the plague to them? Won't your friend just spread the plague to everybody she comes in contact with? Or he comes You're in right. contact with? We throw you both down the hole. And isn't the plague only affects plant life? Well, no. clearly it doesn't he, Not if they dis discover the way to turn it liquid form. And, you know, drink it. Like an yeah. idiot. We had seen it take effect on mm -hmm. rats. Also, the, Maybe seeds, uh, she's a druid. the seeds of the fruit do really poison any land that they touch. I hope they didn't uh, splooge all over you. You chose a vile way to describe that. Yes, I did. Can I please kill him? No, oh, you cannot. Can I you please go cry. and try to find my family? Well, uh, we need to get this guy to some authority. I mean, bring out all the information they can get from him. I'd or... say he can go free. He only has 24 hours to live anyway. I mean, What's the, oh. what's the name of your family? I'm not telling you. Well... You just asked if you could kill me. I am not telling you another I, fucking I did thing not, about I, me. I did not ask. That was Mogax <clears throat> over here. That I'm was Blair. Me. Nice to meet you. But um, the point is, right? You know, we still might have follow-up questions for you. So we might need to be able to contact you within the next 24 hours. Oh, you could just ask yeah. them all here right now, and then let me. Yeah, but we're not nicely. we're not smart enough to ask all the right Clearly. questions. We have to we have to exactly we have to go find smarter people. I mean, yeah, we have. Maybe we should it. find another. Maybe we should find a circle of druids to to ask them about this. I'll be dead before you do that. Let's go look. I mean, the town's just upstairs, right? The closest. It's less than a of day's walk. Is in Mirabar. Well, we have a druid right here. I yeah, mean, an idiot. Wherever there's oh, look a at breeze direction. <laughs> you want know they say wherever there's uh, nature, there's a druid. They don't say that. No, let's talk to the kobolds. Report <sighs> the dragon, path, then go back to town. Can we at least gag him up. so he shuts up? Again, I'd, I'd rather you didn't. Uh, that, and I'd rather you not try. And I'd rather you Come not on. worship an evil looking tree. Let's go, let's go, people. So I guess we're just taking I'm him with us. Yep, dragging him behind me. <laughs> Have him dragon? tied up. Yep. Dragon, you say? Dragging these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> So, Hi, how do you like the idea of rolling with disadvantage for the next three weeks? Sounds good, right? I haven't done anything to deserve it, mechanically speaking. The psychic damage I'm Come taking on, says otherwise. <laughs> I so guess. I'm just, just going to stand there in that room like Rihanna. Stand there and watch it burn. 
Yes. I don't know. Oh. Uh, are, we heading to the, are we heading to the kobolds or the where we last saw goblin? Kobolds? I mean, what goblins? We we saw okay, them. Okay, talking about goblins, nuts. Okay. One more time, and I will just straight up remove you. <laughs> to get it out of my like, where are we going? Like, are we just gonna walk until we find someone, or we return to the kobold guy, to the priest? Is that what we're all Is doing? The priest? Yes. I don't know where the goblins people. The goblin people you guys are talking about. Oh, uh, Haku. I think we killed them all. Haku, just whilst you were back up there, you know, just back up to here real quick, please, and thank you. Okay. You know, curiosity and all that. Killed the cat. As you look here, cobblestone floor contains two trap doors blocked by iron spikes. The north wall holds a dry fountain carved with an overreaching d diving dragon, a faint rotten smell from the room. And you Where are you guys? Sorry. I lost you. I'm trying to- there you go, my lights were. Oh, okay. You also Didn't see- Did we go up here already? More rats. No. No, that's why I'm reading out the box. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Anything inside the fountain? Nothing. Uh, give me a. Got something here. Let's oh, say about perception check. So let me just check here. here. Mm. Lighting a torch. All right. Oh, hi. Yeah, give me an investigation check real quick. Uh oh, I'm gonna die every second. Yep. Uh, fuck knows. Uh, I'm just gonna see here. Because God forbid it do things right. Ah, okay, cool. So yeah, I will say where you're standing there. Sorry, where you're standing there uh, is a trap that has been disabled. It is jammed open. I'll say by like a like a pitten, a python, cause it to be jammed open. You can see some rat bones and rusted metal bits, as well as some filth. At this point, it does start to smell a bit funny. Ha ha funny or like a undead funny, rotting funny. Mm, gotcha. Divine sense. <clears throat> um. Just smells funny. Uh. Nothing pops out at you. Nothing seems undead. Fee, Don't... otherwise, just probably some fresher meat. Can I use my sense of smell and find where the source is? The dry fountain. Okay. We haven't been here, right? No, nope. guys. Okay, I'm gonna open the door. I think so. Rats. An oppressive smell suffuses the air in here. Rising from chewed carcasses of other rats and smaller vermin, a few humanoid-looking creatures' bodies crawl up on the floor. Other bodies lie in filth, old bones, hair, and fur combined to make one particularly large, vile rat's nest. I'm not going to disturb them, but quick glance, anything you see oh, inside? We'll see, of all these rats, you do see this rather plump, bulbous. Like, you thought fat rat was fat? This fucker puts fat rat to shame. Oh, damn. 
that are up. I'm gonna pick up Fat Rat. That's your future, buddy. Close the door. Cobalt? Or. Is she, is she this fountain is funky. Smell? <clears throat> so is there anything like in the water or? There is no water, it's dried up. Oh, sorry, I thought. That's okay. Okay. And there's nothing like in the fountain, it just smells bad. It smells real bad. Right. Um, can I see if, if the dragon fountain has any blockages? Uh, there are little holes for the water, and yeah, it is, it is a bit blocked up, yeah. Use my javelin to try to pick its nose hole, try to clean it up a bit. It ain't going anywhere. You try, but it is something hard and ached. Oh, nothing to see here. Yes. I opened the door, by the way. I just. Why the fuck are you all the way back there? Because I saw a door, but there was so much talking, I could never say that I wanted to open it. You, you know could have raised anymore. your hand or top. Well, that sounds smart. Three goblins sit there. Just kind of eating away. Drinking this weird shit from their burning pot. The room does not smell good, and it is littered with all manner of shit all over the place. There are crude hammocks sitting there's gonna one of them turns around big spoon just gives you a weird look i close the door and uh take the other bath back wait a tick i head back up again at the big uh, fat rat room mm -hmm. this is not a wall it's a Where wall oh but i can see past it because you're Technically it, underground, it, it, but this is like a there's like a building that's fell in underground into a cave. How did we get okay, here? Okay, so I can't find oh. the path back. Where is where are you? There there we go. Where's Oh. Are, we, are we all going back to like that one room with like the yeah just yeah, one kill so just everybody get together then i can just drag you all see if you're going you know we're all in this together and just like that the citadel collapses <laughs> this is the room we're looking off yes yeah these are the cold holds we are looking for. We never looked in this room. Okay. As you enter yep. into this room, you see, once more, all the little posts and all the little go uh, see goblins, all the little cobalts. You see that the Yudrasil cobalt, the one sitting up very back, is having a conversation with a dwarf that has a particular little looking dragon with him. I've just moved everybody. Smart me. Hee <laughs> Dwarf look at a certain like this. Jack, if you want to take it away whilst I get up the image of the cobalt once more. Let the people nice know what they picture. see. Uh, so you're seeing a nice wee dwarf. Uh, he looks exactly like this, pretty much. Really, really bushy beard. Uh, beside him is a wee drake. His name's Sammy. Um, my name is Leslie Clearwater. Um, Hi, Leslie. I, I, 
I just, I look like a general. Ranger, dwarf man. Yeah. That's it. Nice. Hmm. You've been here. The... Cobalt is the word I'm looking for. Fuck so many dragons now. <laughs> the Cobalt has been telling you about the group of idiots that were sent away some time ago to try and fetch the dragon, but they are yet to return. And then they round the corner as it does the uh, beautiful looking. Let's see. Yes. Yeah. You say beautiful. Looks back. Oh, he's a pretend. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. I... We have found your dragon. Oh, where is it? And we killed some goblins. Beautiful, beautiful. But where is my dragon? Where is she? He doesn't what? want to come out of her Spring. room. Yeah, she's in a room. Spouting. Uh... Just spouting. Well, the way there is safe, he can pick her up. Well, it's a crying shame, but at least we know where she is. And if you've killed the goblins, there's no need to. Worry then. Thank you. By the way, what's in these doors over here? What's in that room? Curiosity killed the fake dragon. I will Im immolate you with my fist, I swear to There's things in those rooms. What things? You promised us some Coming reward? Business. I did promise you a reward. And she kind of stands up and bows. She does. Thank you. And then sits back down. <laughs> you were to tell us about the missing druid that we're trying to find. Oh. Oh, yes, yes. He... An older looking gentleman went uh, <clears throat> went up a bit. Uh, we believe he was kidnapped by the goblins. We interrogated some goblins, but they... Uh, <coughs> this is tickling my throat for some reason. They uh, haven't been very forthcoming. <laughs> they said they took him to the north. Yeah. Does the north happen to have a giant gaping pit? Yes. Kind of gross, infected looking? As a matter of fact, yes. God damn it. Uh, uh, the goblin <laughs> boss is presiding his court right on top of that pit? That shaft? It sounds almost like you've been there. Yeah. Oh. The mind of the bargain was taken care of. Hmm. Great! The druid already got nabbed. And... Son of a dragon. I think it's called dragon porn. You're disgusting. Also, you're in the wall. No, she's not. I'm here. Because really? when I highlight when I highlight over the breeze right here, breeze right here. Oh, I need to refresh. <laughs> Bree has been in the wall the whole time for me. <laughs> well, didn't we agree to get the key? That too. Okay, you look in this room. There are three sleeping cobalt. A little fire burns in the middle of the room. Is there a partridge in the pear tree? Not one of those. Do a little... Come to this door and try. Nothing happens. You just kind of 
feel a little tap on your back. Oh uh, yeah. The cobalt looks. You race in a barn, close the fucking door. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I, you know, I remember earlier down that hall over there, I remember hearing something muffled in that room. Prisoners? Yes. Hmm. Mind if we have a chat with them? Yes. Right. I mean, we're all friends here, right? No. We were business partners, and our business is now concluded. I'll give you a gold if you let me talk to the prisoners. No, we recently got all of our golds back. Oh, 5,000 pieces. I I'm literally offering them to give more gold. 5,000? Where do you hide it? Such large sum. It was distributed equally amongst the people it was stolen from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <gasps> They're communists! <laughs> hmm. oh. Guys, should I do something potentially stupid? No. You're stupid? Oh, uh, yes. Always. You've opened your Always. mouth, so like, you know... <laughs> I'll give you a minute Ooh. to roll it over whilst I get some water. Oh. So I'll just pause okay. There you go. Because uh, I was thinking of using Draconic Presence to intimidate the kobold into letting me see the prisoners. <laughs> That's Give a great way to burn some bridges we've built. Look. I can also just mention the fact that we wiped out an entire horde of goblins. What are they going to do? Oh, no. I don't you know. You know, if we really. kill the kobolds, they can't stop us from opening the door. Exactly. That's that's literally what I'm saying. We also yeah. might get enough XP for level up. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't have any spell slots. Do not do anything stupid. Says you! I have done enough stupid for all of us. For the rest of the You know what? Life. Just be just to spite Ruby. <laughs> I would like to walk up. I'm gonna. This is the particular kobold we're talking to, right? No, this one. Right here? Oh, sorry. I couldn't see. I'm just gonna say. Listen, listen. We'll get out of your scales soon enough. But, we need all the information we can get. Now, considering we just took out an entire nest of goblins... That's the least you can do. Your, As I'm going to use Draconic uh, in... Oh, good. Let's see. Our barter was that you bring back the dragon. And we tell you where your druid went. You did not bring back the dragon, but it sounds like you found your druid. We found your dragon. Did you bring it back? Uh, that they're alive? You're probably alive. Well, guys, you That's why we thing, didn't force her out. I'm just gonna say, listen, we found your dragon, we took out your goblins, the druid was a bust, so maybe the prisoners have more of what we want. So, either you let me in there, or I'm breaking in there. I would like hey, to I use, don't think uh, agree with this. Intimidation. I, I don't know him. I don't know him. I never met him. Who's that guy? Yeah, exactly. Like, let's let's just go. And, uh, by the way, to kind of presence, if I fail with an intimidation check, I can um, use my reaction to re-roll it. Mm hmm Lovely. So... Yeah, I'm trying to find. Uh, okay, there it is. Please, God, I am using that. <laughs> Let me just. Oh, I can't. I can't plus it. So I guess I'm just. It's <clears throat> God. 
Damn, if you fail a charisma intimidation persuasion check, you can use your reaction to pre roll once this feature turns in. Once this feature turns a failure into a success, you can't use it again until you finish your turn. Mm. Okay. Uh, so you have one reaction. Mm hmm. Granted, if it still fails, I still keep it. <laughs> but, you know. Yep. So uh, you're probably going to want to use your reaction. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Come on, baby. See, you know, looks back at you. Yeah. Maybe we would let you in. How many? Damn. Well. Goblins really, uh. won't say much anymore, sadly. Yeah. Right, right. Leans in and whispers to you. Mm -hmm. I haven't fed them in like two weeks. Uh, they may, may not be dead. It's, it's a bad way, but well, you know they may not speak anything. But if you wish to try and go in, you can. Um, Take me in now. We kind of lost the keys. Does it happen to be the key in your throne? Oh, no, no, no. This is for something completely different. Just in case, can I insight that? Yeah. I don't believe that after... Oh, I believe that. You believe that. <laughs> if you can unlock the door, you can see it for yourselves. Blair, come on. You're helping me unlock the door. What am I doing? You're helping me unlock the door. You as sure? the master of unlocking. Oh, okay. Blair, I'm you're helping me rob the shop. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, as the master of unlocking. So, uh, do they, they said we could do this, right? Yes. Alright, let me just... Remember, right. and that one, these tools break. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Mm. On the plus side. So you... Oh! You try. But it is... He's calling you the master of unlocking it. The amount of failure you're doing, it does genuinely start to feel like an insult. An 18 fails? Like this one's on here tight. So you I open this room, you see a living commune of cobalt, some cookie meat, some sharpening weapons, cobalt kids running around. Cobalts are fucking weird, but they're all doing their own thing. Their own little living community. It kind of sets your mind back to a few hours ago where you killed a whole community of goblins, but you know. Hello. Oh, uh. You justify your war crimes how you wish. <laughs> they attacked us first. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. Okay. How are you guys doing? Well, we didn't actually wipe out the goblins. We only killed the combat capable ones. We let the 30 peaceful ones escape. For now. For <laughs> now. <laughs> you're there, uh, with the Drake. Yes. You wouldn't happen to know how to get this open, would you? With buy out, of course. What's the door made of? Metal. Fuck. Not with fire, of course. Lovely. <laughs> oh, Lovely, boy. You always try to kick it in. You... Oh. Hmm. I suppose you or your Drake are, are strong enough to bust it open, do you? Well, I'm sure Sammy here could give it a go. Sammy. Can I use the help action on Sammy to give him advantage with the door busting? Um, uh, yeah. Raw strength? Uh, Ross drinks check, yeah, I believe. Let me just check the book. 
Yes, strength check. Uh, you do have advantage. I love this Drake. So just roll, roll another uh, flat twenty. Just roll another flat d twenty slash r one d twenty in chat. Yeah. This is a nat twenty. I'm gonna not. <laughs> Good thing you get that help action. Is the you hear the shattering of the lock? Is the door? <laughs> Sammy. I'd like for Sammy. I'd move for Sammy. Maybe I should start calling them the master of us. How many of these goblins are alive? <laughs> Fuck if you know. <laughs> I said we summoned the one with the play again. I have left the building. Wait, what? Let's go find Bree and send I him. didn't want to be with the guys intimidating our friends, so I left. Near face, near uh, case. Uh, okay. Alright. I have to do a little medicine check to see. These guys are. You, you could you could take a little bit of sticks and, you know, play some ding, 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 ding on the rib bones that are showing. He's dead. All of them? He's dead. That one. God. Okay, how about these two? I'll go look at this one in the corner. Medicine checks. Do you want me to roll twice since there's two? Pray, pray, please. Of course, that's where I get a 20. Please tell me this one's alive. Can, can I, like, since I haven't eaten in a while, can I, like, hold a bit of ration over him to, like, quaff of, queef? of, of scent over Quaff. Quaff. Waft. I think you had to write the first time with queef. <laughs> no. Yeah. Sm four small. Anyways, quaff is a word, though. Four small humanoids Anyways. shackled to thick rusted chains attached to large iron spikes set in this floor. Several broken weapons and sundered shields lie in corners. In front of them, you can see that there are little bowls with rotted food. However, they are bound by their hands mm -hmm. to their feet behind the pole. And the bowls are just, just out of reach. a hair, a ball hair out of reach. Can, can I hold, like, some rations of goblin to see if that'll get him up and at him? <laughs> Watch his little eyes open. Do you speak the common language? Speaking in common, you fucking idiot. You don't speak Not a goblin. No. <laughs> he, so, he spoke to you in common. I'm a hand of ration. You haven't said anything in common. You, all, all you did was make a weird groan. Oh, he said yes under that groan. No. I apologize. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Uh, Apolo that's on me, the apologies. Uh I'm gonna say Alright, that's a good start. I'll hand him a portion of the ration. I'll f or I guess because he can't do anything. I'll feed him a portion of the ration. You are giving him the nom noms. He ferocious. Almost takes a finger off as he you are feeding he is <laughs> getting at it. Yes. Yep, I'll spend that. Now then, the more you talk, the more you talk and talk truthfully, the more you get. Now then, why would the gob? Uh, let's just start with the basics, even if I. <clears throat> why were you and your goblin encampment here? Safety. Hmm. Safety from the blight. 
Oh. A safe place. Hmm. I was. And what of the blight? What do you and your people know about? There's a blight? Well, yes. Have you not seen the uh, area? Have you not seen the giant pit full of fungal tendrils? Oh, I was not allowed down the pit. Only. <sighs> Only the bad goblins were put down a bit. Alright, then what what do you know about this place, about the area? As I give him a little bit more food, since once, he did answer. Once a beautiful church or something. And then the land gave way. Mm. Now it connects to the underdark. I, he's answered two of my questions, so I'll give him more of the ration, and then I'll turn to the others. If you guys have any questions, feel free to pipe up. Uh, Why did they steal the dragon? Find the druid growth. Druid growth now. Uh, not something that I'm. Well, we took the dragon to get rid of the kobolds. Uh, who's the smartest goblin in your tribe? That would have been... Say ball sag. Say ball sag. Say ball sag. Say ball sag. No, no, that, he's checking their stats. <laughs> that would have been drun. Did we learn the name of the hobgoblins? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think we did. I don't, I think Balsag was the only guy you guys named. We got the name of. He was a bugbear. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he's a goblinoid, though, still. True, true. Well, so technically, he's a fiend. Well, so are goblins, too. <laughs> I know. And all goblins. <laughs> Your argument doesn't work. <laughs> For all prerequisites. <laughs> we killed them. We Why killed would you him. tell him that? <laughs> no, that's out of character, because I'm... Checking our okay. I was about to say session three. We killed him. How would the second smartest go? Is that the one? Was tribe? that the one in the room with the hole? Yes. That was he was the one in the room with the hole. Hmm? How is he doing? Is oh, he he's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Should we roll deception? Yeah. Uh, next question. Next question. <laughs> Fine. Um, feed him. Feed him, man. Feed him. Why did you guys take the druid? Here, he's enjoying. He's enjoying <laughs> himself. If I feed him, do we get advantage on deception? Hmm. <laughs> so he's who's lying to him. He's like level five exhaustion here, so he's rolling with disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so like, who who's the one who lied to him? Haku. <laughs> I did. Right, Haku, you I got this. Answer. I did answer. Recording says otherwise. <laughs> you told them that um, drug is fine. And I then did, went okay. next question. Well next question. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Are you trying to gaslight us? Me, there's a whole recording you'll be able to see that says otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> is he, uh, he's, does he know I'm here? Is he, just saying he does that? not. Oh. But tell us about the druids that you guys captured. We captured druids? 
<laughs> he doesn't know anything. Oh man, how long have you been here? I mean, he was a prisoner. Of course, he's not up to speed. With you, you, you watch as, like, with his hands, like the way he's tied. You watch as he like starts tapping Why? fingers and then starts tapping toes. <laughs> <sighs> When he sleeps, guys. What if, what if we pulled the stereotypical adventuring group and we take him with us? <laughs> like adopt him? Yes. Haku's what already we... adopted a fucking no. rat, and you just want to yeah, adopt a I have goblin. a rat already. Yeah. What's yeah. your name, little buddy? Yes. What is your name? Uh, Name him Ballsack. <laughs> Fjord. What? Fjord? Fjord. 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 Do you wanna Fjord. do you want to come with us? Or you can stay here. <laughs> Are you going to take me to Dern? Uh, no. What if we said we could offer you better employment? That's, that's out of our way. If you could just let Dern know I'm here, I'm sure you send someone. What if I said we, we could be, offer We can't be bothered. What if we could offer you better employment? It's not really any better employment than pillaging and killing and kidnappings. What if we said you didn't have to do all that work for uh, to do that better work. pay? Oh. I'm just going to turn over to Ren Frey and Draconic. Okay, we're not saving this one. What if I fed him? I'm <laughs> um, sorry. I don't think. I don't, I don't catch that because my internet is fucking with me. Oh, uh, oh. Like, Mogax just. It, wor it works fine every other time of the week, but when I played DD. <laughs> Mogax just said, uh, in Draconic to you, uh, said, Okay, so we're not saving this goblin. <laughs> Are you familiar with refeeding syndrome? <laughs> no? It's highly effective. Uh, just think you're also, how many rations would it take to kill the goblin? Huh? <laughs> You, oh, know, you know, you know, like a Jew leaving a concentration camp, how like thousands of them died. <laughs> oh yeah, because like they they were malnourished and they, they ate over so ate. much that it overate. Yeah, yeah. How many rations? I can't put a number to that because <laughs> I genuinely don't know myself. Like, I don't think I want to know. <laughs> what if I fed him seven? Jesus Christ. I mean, I, I, why don't we just kill him? I mean, like, hold on, let him God. cook. Let him cook. After Dragonlance, <laughs> I think we, we need to let this guy cook. <laughs> what? Well, Let's let him. I don't know how I feel chance. about torch. I don't know how Molgax feels about torturing a goblin. <laughs> well, hold on. Give him. Let him get it out of his system. Um. Like he's already on the brink. Like. To put it in, put like, yeah, one I'll only take a few, then. That's fine. Okay. Right. You don't want I'm to just gonna chill with Sammy and talk to it in Draconic. <laughs> you don't want to save you. And we'll just... We'll just feed you. Mm -hmm. And he takes out... I take out my rations out of my bag. All of Do them. Your all dead. Up. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just turn them in a fucking wrapped. feeder. Ten neatly wrapped packets of food. Slowly unwrap one packet, offering it to him as he wolfs it down. This, Second one. This seems absolutely he, evil. <laughs> so I'll let you. Gonna, I'll let you get on moan? with that weird that sexual moan? fantasy. <laughs> did, you, did you just moan? Yeah. That was a moan. That was moan definitely a moan. That was a yeah. Fuck this. You are. Fuck this shit, I'm out. You are climbing the what, stairs. What, what a good guy. <laughs> you are climbing Haku, the don't stairs. Leave me. Haku, don't out leave of this me. place. What a good guy, feeding the goblin. 
<laughs> you are climbing the stairs out of this godforsaken hellhole. Up and up and up. And as you take a look round, many of the trees that were there initially when you came no longer seem to be there and the ground where they were seems to have dug up something fierce as if the so trees had uprooted and just left did you say uproot? Yep. And left. And we like. have seen blight. I, w I want to see if... This is only Carol brief. information... I was going to say, Carol, information about blights in general. Like, what kinds exist. This is only Bree who sees this. You are... Oh, sorry. I thought we were all outside. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you are... My bad. Doing your own thing. Ruby decided to leave... Morgan's decided to leave, but late. There's just no thoughts for me. I've, I've genuinely had empty no thoughts. Uh, the wind blows and you just hear a high pitched whistle. I wouldn't. I'm smart enough to know that trees don't just walk away. Trees, the, trees don't just normally walk away, correct? <laughs> Can I look for, like, does it look like the dirt is, like, unhealthy? Like, I, I try to, like, sprout up a leaf within it, like, try to drew it, like, make some, make some little plants grow. Yeah, like, does that work, or is it just immediately wilt away? Is the thing that crafts up, and then as it does, as soon as it gets, like, the very end of its growth, it immediately starts to wilt, wither, and die in the dark. That's not good. That's very bad. Give me a perception check real quick. Ooh. Uh, perception. You feel this almost like goosebump. But as you're going to look around your body, you, you don't have goosebumps, but something tickled and going to raise hairs all over your body. What? Like, is, is it like a, a, a something tickled me somewhere on my body or is it inside out? Tickled all over your body at once simultaneously. As if a million like a, like, fleas jumped off your body in one go. Ah. Uh, is it like like I had fleas on me and they jumped away, or a million fleas jumped onto me? Million, like a million fleas jumped off of you. Oh wait, would those be spores? Like spores, like like the. The, the druid had said, like, that I am now bring the plague. Like, that that's one thought. Idea. That's a thought. It's a th thought that's easily formed based off of all the information you've been given. Yeah. Ew. Why do I always get the things where I need to think about what is happening? I'm not good at that. <laughs> because you fuck, you, you fuck around and yeah. forget that your actions have consequences. <laughs> oh no, I like having actions having consequences, but I don't like when I have to think about what is actually happening. What did I miss? Uh, I want the consequences to be spelled out for me. <laughs> door locked, Polgax. Hmm? Door locked. You know, if, if, if the Drake can do it, I'll... You can try to kick it in, sure. Uh, Haku, what sure? you? Come out of this room, lots of dried meats and such. 
Uh, don't know why you rolled that privately there, my friend. I'm I'm not. Oh. You are. I think I set the blind DM roll. Whoops. Uh, Haku, as you are walking that, trying to walk that way, one of the little uh cobalt kind of puts his hands out. You uh, you don't want to go that way. Oh, what's in here? We were told of uh, someone, an old friend, a friend. Um, he said that if you go that way, you may end up in, um, he said it was called Mental Berenzen Dem 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 Yes. You remember Can you that. that? Can you repeat that? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what you say. He just repeats your name to you. Yeah, I'll just. Be... Yo, for not keeping, how do you spell that? <laughs> you look, the tunnel extends out and out through crags. Is a tunnel to the Underdark. Ooh, okay. Olgax, as you punch ah. the door, Menzo Berenzum, Drive City in the Underdark. Yep, yep. Yep. You're going to hear that thump, thump. A door, a uh, very solid door. You see two big dents in it from where you have punched it. You didn't open? No. If I use a crowbar, can I do it again? You can make a strength check to open the door. Okay, we'll do that this time. I'm shit at strength, but maybe I'll do better. You use a cruel bar to give you advantage. It. Yeah. Let me just pop that. And just straight up check or athletics? Straight up uh, matter? strength. It matters, but we're not. Just wondering. <laughs> oh, thank God I have advantage. <laughs> um... Natural I'm gonna say this. Zero. I'm gonna say this to you now. You have no way mm -hmm. of meeting the DC. You have no way of no way meeting the DC. It. Got it. Mm. If only I had the master of unlocking, Sammy. <sighs> Did we try to get back to town, guys? I think Mogai is just gonna wait here for the others to come by. And lastly, I think. You can stop feeding the goblin now. Is it dead? I fed it seven yeah. rations. Uh, Tell me. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Give Jesus it to me, dog. Christ. Is he dead yet? <laughs> uh, Shuffled off this mortal coil. So <laughs> <laughs> Fraser never thought any of it. Is he dead? I fed him seven rations. <laughs> I right. uh, never found a key, right? That opens that opened this door. You well, never found a key that opens that door, no. No additional keys were found or seen. So I'm gonna check here this room as uh, cause there might be you might be able to try. I'm gonna check. Hmm. You could attempt I'll try to kick it open um, while waiting for my team. Sam, master to finish, of unlocking. To finish feeding the goblin. Um, I'm just going to be very nice right now. Uh, no one in this party has the means to strength through this door. Now you're with uh, advantage? DC 30. Oh. Hey. I think you have the means to pick the lock. Like I, I think when I say the means, like I think you have the. I'm moving these tokens. Where's away. Blair? You have the ability to uh, meet the DC to pick the lock. Where is Blair? Blair, Blair is Blair is just chilling. He's like, he, he's not doing so good after the stuff with the goblin. Blair, are you okay? Like, I know I rag on you, but like, genuinely, are you okay? 
I don't like your face. Oh, this is like. He's like, I don't know if we're the good people or the bad people or the the plague people or. Like, what are we yeah. doing? I can <laughs> tell you what you could be. Are doing. the goblins good? Are the, mm, are the nobles no. good? Mm, debatable. Are, are either of them? I kind of just want to kill them no. all. Blair, Blair, Blair. Oh, none of them at the same time. Blair, it's okay, it's okay. Here, do something that is simple and that you're good at. Could you please pick this lock for me? <laughs> There's a lock somewhere? Hold on. <laughs> right here, right here. This okay, door. I, mean, I, could, I could give it a try. I mean, this... Yeah, I believe in you. Take Thank your you mind off of moral dilemmas for now. You spit on it again, and... <laughs> <laughs> fucking... Would the help action give it... Wait, no, I'm not proficient. That's not a rule. Oh, it Is isn't? That... Yeah, you don't need to be proficient to give someone the help action. Oh. You just spit a little as well, you know. <laughs> can I do... Wait, can I say my praise gives him help? Like, confidence? Was... You did ask if you can do it, oh. so, like, by all means, you know, um, yeah. you, you can... Uh, can oh, re-roll the d20. Right. Just give me another d20. 17 oh. this time. 17. 19. No, it's uh, so 19 here. Before. This particular door, you can heal the lock and you do, you know, bind on one, bit on two, full set on three, fuck, start again. Level After... Five. After a few minutes, it just doesn't seem to be giving. Bit of oh. a tricky lock. It's one of those seven seven pin locks that you don't see coming until it's too late. Oh, this fucker. Hold on. You know what? I have to. Hold on. Okay, okay well, okay. Can you, be, can you can you be my eyes for a second? Uh, sure. All right, because I'm going to close my eyes because I have to be the lock. And you have to be the lock picker. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel better. And so <laughs> I want to try this again. However, you will not notice no, no advantage <laughs> for help. You just want to try flat. Yeah, you just going to flat out roll it. Because he's, he's, he's being a, the, what's the word? Superstitious, per se. 90% it, it, uh, of it is just listening and feeling, it's not really about size. I'm just imagining this no. is like, keep talking and nobody explodes. One's I, reading I'm, the manual, one isn't. Right, and I'm, I'm thinking about it too now, too. Like, you, you can't look inside the lock while you're looking at it, so I don't know why it would... Uh, I guess just jingle, jingle that way, give it a little flibber jabble right there, and give it a gold, good old griffon. Can I, can I take back the disadvantage? <laughs> I didn't see any disadvantage. Hey, oh, sweet. Alright, I, I, I forgot how locks. Okay, never mind. He's like, man! I mean, I sure am distracted. Thanks, Malgax. Does no one have guidance? I'm outside. I'm outside. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm outside. Guidance. Wait, you have guidance? I have guidance, yes. Yeah, I didn't want to ask her, though, because that'd be rude. Great and merciful! Uh. Ren rolls. Ren Renfrey. <laughs> he said it right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Could we have one more chance at the door with guidance? No, dog paling <laughs> rolls. Worth the shot. Got one, two, three, four checks for one person on the door. Dog paling. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, that's my fair. bad. That was that's, that's fair. fair. That was two attempts. Can I history check the wall to see how it was made to see if I can break through the wall instead? <laughs> can you my token where the guys are? You're right now. I, I love that. Um, how are you stone I see myself in the room with the goblin. What was that? I oh, know you're 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 standing here with everybody. I moved you, and, so don't worry. You are right here with everybody. Yeah, but um. I see myself still. Right, and I'm telling you, and everybody else will agree, you're not there. Which then means that's a problem mm -hmm. on your I end. 
Yeah, true. So, oh, Internet's to, fucking me. No, you would oh, just need so to hard. you would just need to refresh because they're desync. Because we've moved you. Because... No, I mean every time I play on Foundry, my internet keeps mm. dying and it work. It worked fine all day. I my fuck. Very recent. I'll say like, you know, it's very recent since so just bef just after Christmas. Which is odd. I just clicked my wrist and it hurts so bad. Where's the walls? Um, yeah, the solid, thick. Busting through these bitches is not a thing that's going to happen. Uh, without rolling any check, I'll be passively there because I've already started. <laughs> <laughs> um, created quite some time ago. As to the exact age, long before your time. Okay. Okay. How sturdy does that wall look, my friend? Quite. I think we're fucked. Ah. Mm. You're a fucking. Just genius. like that goblin. I wonder what I happened to that goblin. I go to lockpick the wall. No. <laughs> the walls. <laughs> the wall. It was a. It was a sad fate, Jess. Messy. Well. Yeah, by the way, Bla by, by the way, Blair. Uh, did did Leslie ever say that? <laughs> did I ever say what? Leslie, did you ever introduce yourself? Because I only heard you name your dragon. Drake. Oh, yeah, no, uh, I'm Leslie. <laughs> oh, yeah, Leslie, play By the way, what happened to that goblin earlier? I, I, I stayed in the room with him for a bit. <laughs> oh, what happened he, to the goblin? He passed away, unfortunately. Oh, what happened? Did you kill him? His eyes were bigger than his stomach. I don't catch your meaning. <laughs> he died. Am I gonna have to? Belly. Am I gonna oh. have to? Will you eventually? He like. Looks to... <laughs> He's gonna look to. Leslie. <laughs> my most dangerous weapon is my food. I'm a horrible chef. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like you might be evil. I am Are you evil? I'm Are you evil? Aren't we all a little evil? Okay. As a treat. First, first Bruguer, now this. I didn't plan to play an evil character. This just kind of happened. <laughs> what do you <laughs> mean? <laughs> you in chose to feed him to death. This is completely yeah. in character. He's like. Well, I just, I just watched a documentary on Auschwitz, and you know, then the goblin. <laughs> what? That gave you ideas? No one wants a fucking documentary about a fucking concentration camp. Like, oh, that's actually a great idea. Let me I just, Let me I just found that. it interesting. Uh huh. You know, like when you die by your own wants, but it's simple. It's like, you know. If we no, don't, don't, maybe a, stop trying to save this. It's a dream death for me. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm gonna stop end trying to save this. A dream death. For his, you, bro. His, his, <laughs> his dream death. His dream death is someone sitting there going, "Here comes the airplane," and he's lying there in the bed, all ten ton of them going, "I couldn't take another bite." I want yeah, to no, walk like, into KFC and get bar bargain bucketed to death, <laughs> bro. I'd say stop. That's why I'm gonna bad. get uh, gonna end up with my head crushed at some point. Let's no, stop thinking about it. We've already dug a mass grave, bro. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> As Haku, you went up, you see similar the land, the dirt, uh, very little trees, but the for you being a being a simple man with a simple way of life, but a rotund gut. You know what. a a, a, you know, you know what an awful lot of fields and farms look like. This land looks freshly. I wanted to use the word aggregated, but it's not aggregated. Uprooted. No. Plowed. Plowed, turned. Yeah, there's an there's another word that begins with A, which I can't quite remember. 
but it looked like fresh like that, like a a new field ready to be planted. That sounds like a euphemism. It's not. Who's ready to sow their oats, boys? By the way, why are you here? I heard about a, a dragon cult in a stronghold, and I just thought Sammy might want to meet some of his own. Oh, well, he's already met one of his own. I'm right here. And who? Mulgax, the golden dragon. A pleasure. As I'm, like, holding up my hand. Drake just kind of looks up at you, boy. Leslie, Cox and I, bro, like, the fuck? <laughs> You're a dragonborn, are you? N no, I'm. I'm a dragon. You're. You're a dragon. I don't believe him. He's lying. I mean I between mean, species. I don't need to roll an insight, do I? I mean between species at the want. moment. Okay. <laughs> it's whatever you believe. We don't really roll against each other too much, you know. I will say this, Mogax. If you want to insight him, go ahead. That's up to you, man. I mean, I really just feel like you're not a dragon. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. <laughs> Is that how you feel? Uh, you're just making it up to make himself feel important. I'm not! Oh, he's really not. No, he's like a boss player. Well, it's great to meet someone as... esteemed as yourself. See? Someone finally gets it! Thank you, Leslie! I'll wink at Sammy. <sighs> Drake drag will wink back. Give that like, look like, yeah, f <laughs> fucking do, Lally. <laughs> <Use sighs> Wait, all... can you speak Sonic too? Like, I, I can. dragon? Nice. My dragon also speaks dra Draconic back. You hear that? A Drake warden that can speak with his Drake. Cause, cause... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I already told them. I already told them. <laughs> As he's <clears throat> all head up, bar Renfrey who decides she wants to stay with the, the the creatures and moves five foot backwards. No, please, so just move me, move me, please, because I'm having so many trouble. As you all make your way back to the town, where everything was. Back into the little town of Oakhurst. Pardon me. Pardon me once more. You see as the... Let's see... Villagers. The... Main man the town comes out. This rather rotund looking gentleman. Rather full of himself. He does, yeah. He looks at you. The player is about to make another joke. <laughs> ah yes. And did you find the uh, the druid you were looking for? As I was told by the barkeep, uh, good friend Garen, that you were going to find the druid. Uh, looks over. I don't see him. Is everything okay? Who's Garen? The barman at the tavern. Ah. Uh. Blair, you have a lovely way with words. I believe in you. you <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> Sorry, okay, I was just thinking about how, like... We didn't save anyone. We, we couldn't. I mean, like, uh, we killed the druid or did he escape? I forget. But I'm just so like, just like shocked about that. We killed him. But what did you want me to do? Character. We killed oh, him. Mogex was uh, just say. Mogex was trying to put off the uh, burden of explaining what we did <laughs> on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as he said, Blair, you have a way of words. You can do this. Go on. <laughs> Maybe Bree should do it. No, no, that's what I was saying. Blair, Blair, like <laughs> Blair was like answering with his own, <laughs> basically explaining what happened. But he's like, I got it. 
I got this. Just uh, give me some note cards. Well, Renfrey, I'm sure you've got this. <laughs> I'll go with Renfrey because, you know. Hello, hi. So, uh, this is basically one of the two ads we're just going to see for a while because the other one's still in some other videos. Anyway, uh, once again, we are on Coffee and we are on Patreon. Link up here down below. There is some stuff now on the Patreon as well. Some maps for a game coming up as well as some resources that I've made as well for our games that I am running. And that's the news as well as that those maps are also available on Patreon and such as well. Then we are still partnered once again with the great guys over at Adventure On. Yes, uh, if you want to play a game, you know, be it just a play-by-post or a quick one-shot, you know, no strings attached, by all means, jump over to uh, Adventure On, the link's in the description. Great server, excellent guys, you may even find a game run by myself. Alright, so we can do the apparel change, we've had a quick update, so here is your update. Firstly, on Mondays at 8pm CEST, that's 7pm GMT, 2pm EST, 1pm CST, and 11am PST, there is the Dragonlance game. On Tuesdays, at the same time, we have Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. On Thursdays, we now have Vecna Eve of Ruin, where we're homebrewing the first 10 levels, and then we're just going nuts from there with the actual module. Then, every second Saturday, at the same time, we have Fandelver and below the Shattered Obelisk. Yeah, I'd, I'd write that down. It's like 10 in the morning. Now, for our live games. We have Dungeon and Ad Mage. Now, if you are in the US, that is on a Friday night, and if you're basically anywhere else in the world, it's a Saturday morning. So, uh, if you are in the US, it is 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you're anywhere else in the world, such as myself, that's 1 a.m. UK GMT, 2 a.m. Central European Standard Time, and 9 a.m. Hong Kong Time because uh, Ronan is on that time, so we'll include it for uh, anyone in that time zone. So yeah, uh, that about is everything. Let's get back to it. He's now stand here at the front of the man, just kind of looking bewildered. Well, don't leave me in suspense. Have, has he taken care of the blight? Have you taken care of the blight? Everyone's going to die. Unfortunately, no, no, no. no. Make, make it. What happened? The druid he, was. His friends were taken over by the blight. It corrupted them. I'm gonna ask for a. Uh... I'm just going to say Charisma check. I mean, yeah, but... Which? Persuasion? Deception? Charisma. Blath. Okay. Just straight Charisma. Because there's truth and there's lie in there. There's a bit of both. So, you know. Yeah. I mean, we're not lying. You're, li you're, you're lying in certain places. Remember, even if you don't... Even if you omit parts, you know, you're lying by omission. I think Blair's telling the truth completely. Isn't that what Volkswagen did? Lie about their commission. <laughs> he kind of looks. Okay. Did you stop the light? Uh, we stopped it from getting better no no that's not what happened we, we were too late we were too late that's not what the guy said we still have yes the guy? why no he's well wait yeah we still have him i thought you were talking about the other guy <laughs> yeah let's shake him up i yes. thought you got we got we agreed that i would be the, the talking i don't know either I was told I had a way with one. You all turned to me. I did not turn to you. I was told. Yeah, you did. Blair, you have a way with words. Yeah, I said that, and then you turned to Renfrey. 
not good for Rex, right? Oh, well, the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a group effort. You know, we <laughs> all fucked up. Bree is just all off chasing. Bree is just chasing, oh, off chasing uh, butterflies. <laughs> Here, uh, Hulk, can you present Sir Bradford? I'm gonna toss Bradford up. We're in the tavern, right? Ah, uh, it's in the middle of the town. Okay, um... Look at Bradford. Last time yeah. we were here, do we know who the leader was of this town? Uh... You never met the leader, but this man... This man proclaims to be the mayor of the town. Uh, good day, mayor. We have found the druids. But went ahead and tried to stop the blight. How is the blight going, by the way? We just lost three women and a young lad yesterday. Malnutrition. Oh. Oh. Anyway, well, you have a prisoner? Mm -hmm. Malnutrition, yeah, yeah, yeah. you say. Uh, yes, Renzo, I'm, kind, I'm kind of feeling fly. kind of conscious about my weight here. <laughs> I'm going to just tell Lord Dump unless you want to speak up, Renfrey. Hmm? Uh, what? Say, Sorry? I'm about, to, I'm about to Lord Dump what happened. Unless oh. you want to speak up. Okay. Just go ahead. My, okay. my, my, my internet isn't, so, isn't cooperating anyway. Well, uh, he would say... Well, we arrived there and the, met some kobolds. The kobolds directed us to the goblins who had stolen their dragon... pets? Mm -hmm. Leader? Something or other. We went to the goblins. The goblins were experimenting with the plague, also seeming... Uh, mentally... consumed by it, in a way. Not taken over in any way that I've seen so far, but they were definitely not in their right mind. Uh, we've seen rats taken over by the plague. In fact, a uh, new gesture to Haku. Uh, we then went further down. Uh, the plague had spread in this hole down like much further and further and eventually got to the, the base of it. There was the druid and a, a few others, including Sir here, and uh, as it turns out, the plague was caused by a vampire that was staked in the heart, and then the stake grew into a tree, and they were working to purify the tree, allegedly, to cure the plague. However, that wasn't very clearly communicated and he sounds very evil so we killed the tree as it turns out he says that killing the tree makes the plague spread more rapidly could make things worse and I guess that's why we're here but so you went in to stop the plague and instead you've made it worse to be fair, in, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, in our defense, you sent us. Uh, not if, not if him. I'm, not uh, him. Uh, not him? No. If I may add on, to be fair, we don't even know if this man's speaking the truth. I mean, first of all, look at him. Looking, pointing at his, like, you mentioned he had, like, rough gray skin thing. It what, sorry? You said he had like rough grey skin, that whole thing? Yeah. Bark skin. Bark skin. He was under the face of bark skin. Ah. I mean, first of all, look at his look at his condition in second of If it is truly the source of the blight and they were under some sort of sway, would it not make sense for such a thing to want to preserve itself? We don't even know if this man's being truthful. An outbreaker. I mean, I mean, how long did it take us to get from where we were back here again? Less than a day, right? And I'm 
it was mentioned that the 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 fields were different or the the grass life and whatnot. Um, I'm not sure because you didn't mention it again when uh, we yeah, left. The it, trees had uprooted by the looks of it. Trees had been uprooted while you would say that, you know, since the the tree was killed X hours ago, um, uh, flora have been experiencing strange side effects. Uh, have you seen any walking trees? Perhaps ants or the like. Wait, did you say walking tree? Mm. Uh, I got a question real quick, Scottish. Yeah. Or little trees, like um, twig blights, twigs. I was going to ask, since there's like little trees, like, yeah, like you said, twig blights, would there be blights that are bigger? Mm. It makes sense. It's a logical conclusion to certainly draw based off of Do you think events. I could make a check to confess, like identify a specific blight, if that's the case? A specific blight, as in like... You know, how that was a twig blight? If there's bigger blights, is there another blight that would ma match the description of a walking tree? Maybe history, yeah. Okay. Yes. There have been known to be blights that are bigger, full-size tree. Oh dear, we might, we may very possibly be dealing with uh, tree blights. Bigger, badder, nastier version of the twig blights we encountered. Mm. You have any contact with any local druids, Mr. Mayor, to investigate the source? That there was the first druid I've seen in 30 years. Mm. So, is there anyone else we could contact for this situation? Ah, uh, your gods. <sighs> Might I offer a suggestion? Yep. Mm -hmm. If we burn down the trees, the normal trees will burn. Well, the blights will move. Anything left is there for a blight. It must be killed. So, your. But would just the trees be blighted, or would anything else be blighted? You want know, to burn the whole forest down? Yes. Well, that's actually. For, of... for the good of the, the world, of course. How, how big is the, the blighted area? You can see on the map. Um, like, as far as we know, I guess. As far as you had saw... All of this. That's where they saw it when they were coming here. That's probably where you'd see it as well. Uh, not being on the other side, so you don't know, you know, like, you know, Mount Hart and Dow, Grittle Gurm, Mount, ha Mount Hot now, and Gauntle Grim, sorry, never what went around there? such. Like, these particular areas are uh, unsure. I say we burn it. I mean, uh, I think we should just report to the commander in the Cape. I mean, I. But transparent. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can find other druids that can help out this area. Yeah, I think we need to travel around, tell people what's happening, to be on their, to be on their, word, on the lookout, and ask around if they know where we can find any druids. You're allowing the blight to spread. It'll be too late. Mm. Okay, Good but even if we did. Ah! Even if we did burn down the entire forest, we don't know. You no, know, I don't believe in the blight. <laughs> you don't believe the in the blight? The blight isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it can. There's a way to fix it. Still, we we don't know the extent. Like, 
granted it, we should take his word as a grain of salt, but from what we've heard, it, it spread wide and far through the underground. Hmm. Again, we don't have resources here. I Again. suggest we just head back to the keep. Leave Sir Bradford here with the mayor. Gather information. And we ask for help at the keep. The people there. I mean... Yes. But... Do we have any other options? Burn the forest. <laughs> We're not gonna burn out the forest, man. <laughs> I hold on. Imagine if the whole thing started to get some petrol. If we could somehow get a bunch of fire elementals, right? I mean, why? It could be that hard. Why would we need fire elementals when we have torches? Because that's a little, like, too much effort. Well, My we brother in Bahamas, we just tree. need to light one tree. That's and fine. then it spreads. That's a... Yes, but a if, if we can find the druids, if we can find the druids, I'm sure then... I... I mean... Okay. I think they have a spell that would allow them to regrow stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yes. if you burn down the forest, we can regrow it. Let's not burn down anything yet. I mean... Okay. Do you guys know the... Idiom, don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Let's. No, I do not know that idiom. How right? No, never heard of the it. baby. I do know a different idiom, which is like, oh, you know, the father was like, I want the baby, and the mother was like, I want the baby, and the judge split the baby in half. I think we split That's the baby in half. Idiom. On this one. That is a story. Okay. And we split the baby in half on this one, and we burn down the forest. Like, we light a fire, throw it in the forest, and then we go and find the tell the druids, we burn yeah. in the forest. No, we go uh, see the like option A. We go start a forest fire, and then we go do option B too, which is go see about the druids. Excellent I mean, idea. This is, this is, your the assumption you're assuming that what Sir Bradford said is all true. Can we risk it right. being true? Well, I mean, we're kind of fucked either way. So if my it is true, is just... if it is true, we're spreading the plague ourselves. Outside, look at Bree. You're right. We should leave Bree. And burn down Bree. Yes. I breathe <laughs> to the tree. Quarantine, quarantine Bree, maybe. <laughs> okay. Before you pyromaniac buffoon get any further, how about this? We leave Bree here temporarily. And we head back to the keep to check in and, you know, get get more insight. Nice. This is 60 miles radius. Camera it took us like a day or two to get here. Camera pans over to Bree. It took us to, seven uh, days to get here? Camera pans over to Bree still tracing butterflies. Uh, I, said, I said it took three days. Uh, but I actually have... Oh, three days. I've done the math on the side. Um, 100 miles by foot, four days, doing it fast three days doing it slow five put it right over here because i knew it would come up <laughs> so the the guy didn't die in 24 hours like you said it's not been 24 hours you said it was three days no it's it's three days from oakhurst to, to the keep ah it's two hours from oakhurst to the citadel ah. i mean I, I refuse to believe that sir bradford information is correct i mean it over the it's, <laughs> it's the best thing we got to work off right now. All right, and wait, because I think killing off the tree killed the blights, or killing all the blights, right? I mean, it doesn't seem that way, right? Because if the if the blight died and all the blight died with it, then things like the trees wouldn't have moved. Things would start to look better. Things are looking. I mean, we can we can spend a day here and see what's up. I mean, I, I think that, yes. you want that that might be the the best case to to take um, and our, see our what happens here. with the Bradford and yeah. um, Bree. Yeah, we, and we, I'll record everything Sir Bradford would want to leave behind. 
His last notes, last words. Last word and testament. Who is Sir mm-hmm. Bryford? The oh, guy we've been carrying. It's this guy. I'm gonna shake Sir Bryford. The Bryford's. guy with the box skin. Okay. He he's accompanying the druids that we found. Ah, yes. I'm gonna be honest, out of character, I'm at a complete loss of what to do. <laughs> We're gonna do. And you know, I was with Bree the whole time. Sir Bradford and those druids seem to be seems to have turned. They're evil. They were evil. Yes. They're so up to no good. So we can we can't burn trust them. Mr. Bradford. And then burn the trees. All right. I mean, it. it sort of we're not like, yeah, burning we're... the damn trees. Oh, hold on. It it looks like we do have two. Willing slash. I mean, if it slows un- the blight down, I I'm all for burning down the trees. We can all re- regrow the trees. I feel like we have two test subjects, per se. We're- Not test subject. Two, two patients. And these willing patients, experiments. We we can experiment. I'm thinking we see if silver <laughs> has any effect on the bark skin. Perhaps it can cut through it more effectively. I think we test medicines with what we can. We try fire nearby to see if it drives off the plague. I mean, holy seem to have some type of effect on it. We need to get ahead of this. We're not. We're in over our, our heads. Yes, we are let's, in over our heads. We are report. only. We are only six. Let's observe and report. You know, this is one of those times I wish Bahamut would speak to. Unfortunately, I've been left on right. Listen, I have, I'm a, I'm an alchemist. I can, uh, somewhat my field, a little bit. Can I burn, you... Mr. Bradford? Jesus! No, you cannot. Damn it, man! <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I am thinking practically. Nothing else. We need to see what Yeah, works. was it practical to just speed that goblin to death? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, uh... It suited my entertainment purposes. I will leave you be. Yeah, this um, was you, Emily, suggestion. Yes. Uh, my suggestion to you is, uh... Stay at the crypt. Don't... But you have the blight, good sir. Not as long as you stay in the crypt or by the graveyard, anywhere that's not in town. I see we burn him. What the fuck? Like he dude. might have the blight. It's actually not all of us who's infected. It's just her. And he points the to, to Bree, and she's she's the. Have only you ever heard the infected. idiom "fly with the crows, get shot with the crows"? Uh. There are no crows around. I personally prefer ravens. They they look cooler. They have a, they have less of a round head, and I think that makes them more aerodynamic. I think I'm trying to have an aneurysm. I'm a pigeon oh. man. I think the best path forward is we stay a day here. The watch Sir Bradford. You're, you're back. Whatever. Sir, watch Sir Bradford expire. Then head to the keep and report everything we've learned. Is that okay? No burning of a forest. No. I gotta take these dogs. Not, yeah, let's let's I not, got nothing else. Let's not try to make things worse by act, acting rash. Let me put forward a situation here. Okay. Not house. burning down the house. The blight trees have come mm-hmm. from the citadel and are marching on Oakhurst as we speak. We don't know there are actual blight trees, though. It's just a ah, possibility. But a bad one at that. Now, what Better is the risk? Be for the worst than not expected. What? What? What's the worst that can happen? The trees regrow. The worst that can happen is that we burn down more than we intend. Yes, and they will grow next fall. I'm not talking about just trees. 
But we don't have to kill the people. Sounds like That's they're doing not... that themselves already. Right. The worst thing is it spreads beyond. It has already spread beyond. Already. Okay. We should try and contain it now. Why wait? We cannot contain it. We can't contain it. We have the fireman! <laughs> what is your obsession with fire? <laughs> really at the fire. <laughs> <laughs> we burn the blight problem solved. We wait, everyone dies. You wanna burn a 120 diameter area? Then how do, how do you want to stop it spreading? Do you have any other ideas we, in burning out the forest? We, we, we wait. We see how the situation that's develops That's way tomorrow. too silly. You want Let's to just... wait for it to spread to see if it spreads. It's already spreading or it's already stopping. Well, since we burn no matter if we burn it today or tomorrow, it'll spread. So why don't we see if it's any worse tomorrow down the tree? And if it is, it is, we start burning shit, okay? Tell me, observe, if your observe child, and report, what, people. If your child falls sick, do you wait for them to die to see if they're okay? I'm starting to think you're an idiot. That's what. The feelings, Mitchell. All right, fine. Come on, we, we will everyone's tired. Let's, if, if let's, must. let's let's go rest. There's nothing else we can do here. Maybe just keep an eye on Bree as well. See how the blight is progressing. Bree has caught a butterfly, <laughs> runs up to Renfrey, like opens her hand, the butterfly immediately flies out of it. And she goes back um, to chasing it. I'm pretty sure I'm having a stroke. I'm not sure if that's normal behavior of Bree or. <laughs> no, Bree's normally like this. It's fine. I think it's fine. Bad. Okay, let's she's set up still, camp. She, she's just a little special. Uh, sure, we'll go. And the night, the town leader uh, looks. Why are you setting up camp exactly? In your house? Uh, no, you're not. Away from you? Away from us? Yes. But not near us. And if you can. Send a messenger to the keep ahead of us. That was about everything thing. we've learned. Hey, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Walks off like we're great at social situations. <laughs> really confused. <laughs> I've known how to write for you forty years. <laughs> You might have in. fucked everyone. God, why do we not have any social way we play D&D? &D? Never mind. Speak I'm for yourself. I'm just happy I wasn't the only one advocating for the fire. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have this thing called... Res? Uh, Cap. 13 year relationship. Try again. Uh oh. oh As use. Set up camp for the uh, night. You just setting up at a time, you going anywhere particular, I need to know. I would like to walk into the woods. Oh Jesus Sammy. Christ. You know what, fuck it. Let's let's camp at the woods. Yay! See, see, see it up front. See the Remember, if we're front. in the woods, we'll burn down with it. Yeah. We're not burning down anything. I yeah. don't believe you. As you are right. camped up here in the woods, taking your time, enjoying the night, uh, recording everything that Sir Bradford wants to impart. I'm watching Blair. Er, I was Briar. under the impression that he was left in the town. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. Okay. Are you dictating your fucking obituary to me? Like, I was under the impression he was there because prison? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll spend some time in the prison then, recording everything. Bradford will say that catch up with the group. 
Is that all enjoying a good, decentish night? Going to start up the the good shit. Set um, guys, please fire. watch. Please watch the dwarf. Don't set. Don't burn anything down. You set up your little campfire. I need to ask. Watch number one. I'll do it. Well, oh, okay. On your own or? On my own. I need to be alone with my thoughts. Are you sure you don't watch with Molgax? No thanks. Not interested. Damn. Ooh. Imagine getting Not shot like that. Like that. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. You sit here as you listen to the crack. I realise I have shit for this. Ava. Or I had it. Done. Uh, there we go. Here we go. And enjoy our night campfire in the woods. Watch as throughout the night, see few birds in the sky seem to squawk every now and then you hear a whoosh as one drops to the ground you're rustling in the trees you do hear the weird eldritch noises in the woods What do you wish to do with this uh, long rest of time? Just thinking to myself about what kind of a truck I've got myself into now. What kind of what, sorry? You broke up a. You, no, I didn't say you broke You got really quiet and really loud and the attenuation fucked. I said that I. She's thinking about what kind of trouble she got herself into now and feeling guilty about what happened and hoping that we can find a way to stop the blight from spreading. These are... Maybe looking up at the stars if she can see them. Well, let's see if they look up. These stars here are big and bright tonight, deep in the heart of Oakhurst. That's the creatures, however, don't seem to be. I keep hearing every so often the thud of something falling from trees around. Yeah, it's spreading. Yeah. Also hear every so often the... There used to be a rush up in the trees, but as you look round, you're not catching what it is but it also doesn't seem to be getting close to you it seems to be moving away there's nothing else who do who do you wake up because no who do you wake up at this point for watch number dos blair blair is he even here Haku. Oh, and Haku. Yeah. I'm gonna tell them that I, what that I heard, what I heard and saw, and solemnly say, spreading. Okay. Um, Haku's not it's, gonna wake up. I mean, it's airborne. I saw a bird fall out of the sky dead. Maybe it's been infected already, and we're they're all just dying right now. Hmm. I doubt it, but okay. If you if you sleep better at night, thinking that, then you wake up Blair. Well, you won't. You won't. And I tell him the same thing. I heard weird eldritch noises in the wood. They're not coming closer, and I saw a bird fly. Fly and fall down dead. 
What are you here? God forbid you be here you can, for five minutes. You can roll for me. You can roll for me. Uh, for Haku. I'm not in my computer, so <laughs> can't roll. Ah. Then, let's see. Perception. I'm gonna guide you. Maybe it'll open your eyes. No, he's like. <laughs> I, th I think he's taking it. That, uh, <laughs> I think he's taking it. This is Tipler ain't fucking here. He's doing it. Yeah, it's, you are sitting there enjoying your, your own little night, writing up your own little haikus, doing all that shit that you like to do. You do also hear every so often of things falling and even the howl of a wolf seems to cut short. You also hear the rustling of trees and that once more. And as you look around the the forest out in its darkness, that darkness seems to be receding. As if trees are Vanishing. What do you wish to do? Oh. What are you doing? Is it there or Haku? Sorry. Uh, you because God okay. forbid that Blair be here for five minutes. Haku's probably preparing a stew. For our breakfast. For sure. Okay. And uh, writing down some haikus, as you said. What's the poem in Toga? Flowers are only flowers when they fall. Write it all up, your stir bubbles away, and you. Portion it up nice for the morning. You write your little haikus to the waifu and children who. And then, as your rest comes to, as your watch comes to an end, who do you wake up last? Of course. Who are the adults in this group? <laughs> um. Free isn't one. Lastly, is hello there, arsonist. <laughs> uh, Molgax, maybe Molgax. I'll look up Molgax. God damn it. <laughs> then, as you awake, the Molgax, the <laughs> dragon. Get the worm. Get it. Bit of Shanara up here. Big puppy to return. Oh, and right. keep the stew. Keep the stew simmer uh boiling. One sec. Uh. Alright, alright. Well guys, I am gonna ask for a perception check and I'm also gonna tinkle like a princess. <laughs> Stay hydrated, they said. Yikes. Zero. As you, Mogax, are sitting there, minding your own little business. Wishing Bahamut would give me guidance right about now. <laughs> Stir the stew. You enjoy the stew. The stew is good to you. Very good to you. You are good. Right. I'm stalling to bring something up. <laughs> oh, I thought you were about to do something. Gotta say, this is some evil fucking sounding stew. 
it's you sit there enjoying your time. Mm. Your voice just coming towards you. Um, why are you here? Camping in the, the middle of a random blighted forest. What's Who's the... that? Who's that? Oh, it's... Hi. He kind of walks out of the shadow. You see, just... I can only describe average in so many ways, but... By all accounts, this is the most remarkably unremarkable average person you've ever seen. Women, just the perfect length of brown hair that's down. Clothes that look good, but not like, you know, really good. Like, by all well, accounts, just... five foot six, you know. Like, I don't know, like, fucking 80 kilogram, like, the word mid, if it were a person, mid around the board, solid fives all around, out of ten, just five, 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 five. Well, guys is just like, kind of squinting at them, it's just, uh, uh, what are you doing in a blighted forest? I felt I should be here. And she was here? Felt she should be here. So I uh -huh. came here. Does she look blighted in any way? Fives around the board, completely average, but perfectly fine. I don't even have also, a, don't even have a photo. I'm using uh, commoner token right now. <laughs> right. I guess you can stay, but oh, you guess. You just You guess. Well if if you guess then I suggest I will. I'm just gonna just set stone. So why were you here? To hopefully get rid of this flight. And how did that go? Poorly. You look like the type of person that lets things go poorly. Oh no, that's uh Bri that's uh Briar and Blue there. That's their job. Looking at those two. Oh, so now you're shifting, but I see how this is. Oh no, I'm just bad at hitting. That, I will admit. You're bad at hitting. I, do you hear you? Bad at hitting. Yes. Jimma places a hand out. A stationary target? Come on. Nope. Nope. I'm, nope. Nope. Just hit my hand. Hit my hand. I swear it will probably hurt you more than it will hurt me. Hey, insight this woman. Sure. Uh the vibes seem all off. When... It will probably hurt you more than hurt her, yeah. She's She's very much just like a sparring partner. More than anything, you know, the gloves up, like waiting for you, like you know, go like that. She's a genuine. Yeah, no, I'd rather be in tip-top shape. We got a busy day tomorrow. If it's any help, I meant your ego. Ha! I don't need any boost. I'm already magnificent as it is. <laughs> you sort of like falters a little. <laughs> in her pocket and was it a bag? You like shh Um Try to place a wager on that. 
really no. Honestly, I'm more weirded out than anything doing a random normal woman just walked into our camp. I'm merely just a traveler, but I like to gamble. And there's 500 gold right there. I, I win a lot. But don't let that dissuade you. Okay, what sort of... Okay, what the hell kind of feeling lures you in blighted forests where people are dying? Mm, you know, I'm not entirely sure. I just had a feeling. And then I... Met you, so you know, maybe my feeling was of luck that maybe tonight my luck will run out, or maybe my winning streak will continue. What are we betting on exactly? Well, how about if you hit me? Just here in the hand. And if you hurt me, only one swing. If you hurt me, I'll give you the 500 that's in this bag. But and if, I lose. if you miss, I get to punch you back. This went up and down, and like, there is really nothing off about her. Nothing at all. Absolutely fucking average. None of her items seem weird. She just has a simple dagger and a bag of 500 coins. And that bag of 500 I'm coins is betwixt you right now. I'm concerned why you're so confident. That's the name of the game. Is this just him and, I mean, those two? What did I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah don't worry. Right. You can not as well, that's fine. We can sit here in silence and stir the stew. How bad, uh, how bad is it when you hit back? I've, I've been told I'm fast. Am I gonna come out of this alive? Oh yes, I have no reason to, uh, you know, I, I, if anything were to happen to you, you've got all these people here who would probably be woken up. Mm, I'm gonna make a Molgax roll real quick. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. You think you could do it? <sighs> Again, we can just actually like... leans over to start stirring the stir. I, I guess. Uh, yeah, you know what? For once, I'm going to listen to my brain, and I'm going to play the. Is sort of like, yes. Okay. So, you try to stop a blight, and you fail. How does that feel? Well, I can't say we failed yet. We're still trying to fix it. It ain't a failure till we stop. Do you, uh, like a small bit of insight? I... I... To friends. You can also say no. Girl, I said I suppose so. Oh. 
I didn't hear that. She goes into her little bag and pulls out a letter. I had to make a copy, but yeah, place it next to the gold and picks up the bag of 500 gold and puts it in her little bag. It's, um, it's an interesting read. The letter doesn't have to have any, like, sigils on it, like the, uh, book about the Fire Lord or anything. <laughs> it's a small it's a scroll, and it is sealed with, uh, the Crest of Oakhurst. Uh-oh, the mayor's letter to the... What is it, exactly? The letter? I thought you were supposed to be smart. To whom, I mean? Like, where did you get this? Oh, that's... That's on a need-to-know basis. But if you, you know, wish to, go ahead and read it. You can, if you feel it's pertinent. Or you can... Yeah, it's your choice. I... I will not pressure you into anything that you wish not to do. Can I make, like, a perception check to see if there's anyone else, like, hiding in the dark? Because I feel like I'm being set up, like... Yeah. <laughs> Oof. In the middle of this camp, a little fire burning away, the stew bobbling away. It almost seems like the darkness has come closer. As you look around, it's actually a bit hard to even see your friends. You know they're there, you can see their feet, but like, it takes you a minute to think, you know, whose feet correlates to who. Fine. He's gonna like carefully take hold of the letter and like even more carefully open it. That way, if he needs to like make it look like he didn't open it, he can just re-roll it. He immediately kind of throws, or she rather, immediately throws a hand out. Does she about to open it? Yeah, throws it on yours. What if? I told you that the letter here pertains to yourself. Does it make you want to open it more to see what people are saying about you, or does it, does it make you want to read it less, knowing everything you've been through? Like, he's like, Who are you? Did you? Ask that, or is that kind of like the look he's given? Uh, at first it's like a look, and then he asks that. Oh, I'm Triana. Right. I guess... I would be curious, but... Are you more curious or less the curious? Now that you know it's about you. I... I guess if I'm being truthful, I would be a tad bit more curious. Understandable. He's gonna... left her hand off. Continue. Unfortunately, we're known for... Are you known? I say we're known for pride. Not my group, just my particular kind. No, I've heard. Anyway. And she just smiles and puts the hand out. I don't suppose there's any canaries. <laughs> Just a very basic med looking woman. I guess, unless he's being stopped or questioned any further, he would try to open the letter. You open up the letter. <laughs> it reads <coughs> 
group entered Oakhurst 24 hours ago. Tried to stop Blight. Have made it worse. Land poisoned will continue to move forward. Fat one does not believe in Blight. And then just lists a few of the names that it heard. And it's addressed to a name which you have. These are familiar with. But I've never said out loud, so give me a little second to look through all the Is stuff. Ball sag? No, it's not ball sag. <laughs> it ain't ball sag. God damn it. <laughs> fine, fine. It's Rod Chef. God, I we should have burned down the forest. Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I want to know something real fun. What? Um. You're just starting oh. to deal with the devil. No, I was about to say I didn't name the I didn't name the guy, but no, it's just in another piece of paper. I named him. Uh, so let's see. Where was you it? named him a piece of paper. Got it. I'll fucking hurt you, and you know what? <laughs> Mentally and physically. A piece you already do that. General Zig. Zig. Zulu, Alpha, Indigo, Golf. And the name is familiar because... Commander... General, General Zeg. He's the name of the, uh... The General... At the Keep. That you've come from. Have General. I been to the Keep? No. No. Lovely. I mean, we did tell him to write a note. Did he say I... he was going to send one? I guess... How did you get this? A woman has her ways. Wait, who has her ways? A woman. A woman. Oh, uh, sorry, I thought she said a name. But, uh... I... Okay, then I guess, why bring it to us? What does it matter to you? I should make a Triana roll real quick. Do you think your friends would believe you? Believe what? That a random woman walked into this camp and just gave you this. Sat down, had a conversation, made a bet, and walked away. Probably not. So you're saying this needs to be made believable? Well, uh, to be fair. This is a yes or no uh, question, dear. Uh, yes. I'm so glad you said that. Let's see. So. Am I about to. Uh, why do I feel like I'm going to be told to roll initiative? Uh. Roll a d20. Okay. 16. I'm scared. So, um. Hey, yo. You're on edge. So you're mm -hmm. waiting. You're on edge and you're waiting for. Also, do you not have the alert feet, correct me if I'm wrong? Uh, let me check. I have the. Oh, I'm trying to find where that is on. Sheet. I have. I have the mobile feet. You have the mobile feet. Okay, so you're. Okay, so you are a you're eighteen, so you're on edge. Waiting mm -hmm. for this. Is she? 
she ruled pearly. And so, this will be a disadvantage. Is she gonna punch me? Does an 18 hit? Yes, it's four over. Kill. Uh, you wanna go ahead and make me a con save? Constitution. Constitution saving throw. Ooh. You're stunned. So I'm just gonna keep track of the damage that I'm doing here real quick. I have 22 out of 24. Got one that. She's then gonna make three more attacks against you normally. Seven flat seven, your AC is fourteen. Mm -hmm. So hit 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 and our three D six. That's 4d6 plus... You may outright kill me. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. She will punch, punch. She's gonna lie in there. You may not see a lie in there. She's sitting there and she does, leans over to make a swing at you. As you kind of watch as it comes in, follows up with another side as you immediately feel a sensation that you're used to feeling. You're used to dishing out, rather. You are mm -hmm. stunned before she knocks another three into you, and just as you are passing ah. out, you hear just in your mind. Now it's believable. As Daylight breaks, we all get a long rest, and uh, Molgax gets a bruised ego. So feel free to knock a long rest off if you need to. Ow. Also, I gotta go walk the dog now, I'll see you again. Yep, don't worry, I will be you. Wait, we usually... What time do we usually end? Because I'm a bit late for my walk. Uh... That's usually in the case that we start at 6. We started at 7 tonight. UK 7. We started an hour later. So you are actually roughly on track. So don't worry. So okay. I was just wondering if I... I guess I would be back in time to continue. More than likely. You only walk the dog for about 10 minutes. Alright, see you in a bit. You done. So everybody, hit that long rest. I'm not hearing like dice roll, which is really annoying. I fucking hate this new module with a burning passion. Un, deux, trois, two, two. Ah, uh, Bree! Mm -hmm. Morning comes and it's rather weird for you. It's, you know, maybe you were expecting to die in your sleep. But you don't. Instead, you awake rather stiff. You feel sluggish, sore and stiff. Almost every move you make is accompanied by a crack. You move your head in any direction and it just cracks each time. You move your hands, they crack. And the area that you're in, as you now come to, I'm moving everything around. Um, there is a lot less trees here than there were last night, and Molgax has a few black eyes. And Blank, he has more than two eyes. He has he has a big ass black eye and a fucking squint nose. And he is not talking to anybody right now. He's in a big queen puff. Okay, you awake to find your stew is. It's, it's well prepared, well seasoned, well nice. It's um, it's amazing that Molgax done that before he ended up with his black eyes. Like, who knew Molgax was such a chef, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm the chef, but he oh. stirred it well. <laughs> who knew he knew how to stir a pot so well? He didn't. He didn't let <laughs> it burn. What do you yeah. mean? 
So oh. I'm uh, I'm gonna start serving stew for breakfast to everyone. We're just ignoring the elephant in the room, right? He he, <laughs> it's more so that he's ignoring you. Whatever you bring up, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't do anything. He just kind of sits there, like you know, pouting. Hmm. He's even like reluctantly eating the stew, but he's also enjoying it. Mm. God, Danny, download this fucking book just to check this. How nice. No bother. Let's see here. Uh. Let's check this in here. Uh. Haku, give me a wisdom check. Okay. Saving trope or check? Check, check. check. Eleven. These are all eating up this delicious, delicious stew. I have six years. Let's just go in order. Wait a sec. Oh, Haku. Well enough. You are eating this. This meal is sustaining. It is good. Perfect, even. Give yourself a single temporary hit point. Ooh, thank you. You're thanking yourself for making a good meal? Oh yeah. You've never done that? I'm proficient. I'm proficient in... Cooking. <laughs> he just doesn't have the chef feet. Yeah. Yet. One of my characters had it like and spent all well, her time baking cupcakes for her friends. I have a thing, and I'm gonna keep track of it. So I realised that using our standard paper is nothing. So good news, we now get to break out the special paper. Let's use a roll. Eating away. What's the plans for today, guys? Where's the, where do you wish to go? Molgax will um, will show you the bit of paper. I would say he'd be like, you know, yeah. hey, uh, don't ask, don't ask nothing. Just um, I have this, and we'll show you the letter that says all the things that it says about. Uh, where did you get this, Molgax? It was beaten up by a lady in the forest. Funny. Did he kill the mayor's messenger? It was beaten up by a lady in the forest. What did she look like? Average. <laughs> in every way. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So everyone can see that all the trees are gone, right? Yeah, at this point, you should all see it's not all the trees, but like... A the, clump the of thicket, trees are missing. Yeah, the thicket that you were in is no longer thick. We're back. Uh, so, where are the trees? They've gone and walked up. away. Those that right. remain upright, the trees that are still remaining. How do they look? Do they look healthy? New. No. They look considerably worse than they did last time. We should burn the trees. Yes. We should oh. burn the forest down. Are you still, like, shoving your head into the sand and not seeing what's happening? I mean, what are we going to do? The forest is sick. We should put it down. And then find I mean, it's already food. going down. Right, but... 
kill the runt so the pack may live. That's my philosophy. Oh, oh. Problem is, there's no run. There's a lot of runs. We don't know who is who. Well, we just burned down all the trees. So you kill the whole pack. Save none of the pack. I like this, Ruby. But can the pack be saved? So are you just going ahead uh and torching that now? Is that what's happening here? I think we head back to town, check on Sir Bradford, then go back to the keep and report everything we've gotten. And also tell the mayor of that his letter to the keep was stolen. And what do you think the mayor is going to say when we show up with his letter? He's just going to believe that a lady beat up someone at her party and gave him the letter. Sorry, did we did we find that out? We did. Yeah, he, he's he's been saying a woman beat yeah, him up, okay, yeah. and you know whether you believe it or not. We're just we're just gonna tell the mayor these things, and he's just going to believe us. I mean, it doesn't matter if he believes or believes us or not. We have the letter. We're returning it to him. I mean, did he write anything wrong or bad? Yeah. We can just I deliver it to the general. Like say it's more the mayor asked us to bring it to him. The le the letter. From what you can read on it. Essentially blames you. For spreading the blame further. We all further. know. We all know it's our fault. So. Eh. It's not That's my his. fault though. That's his opinion, so I won't. I could always give it to this general, with maybe some minor alterations to the note, if we want to save face. The general hasn't met me. I don't care about that. No, okay. I care more about people that they keep learning about this blight. Yes. And it's yes. updates. We should Everyone stop should that blight. Blight. Yeah. We we should stop that blight. Imagine how good we'll look if we stop the blight. If only there was a way. So... <laughs> uh quick visit to Arcus. Check on Sir Bradford's status. He'd still, still be alive, I think. Or not. Unlike these trees. <laughs> happened overnight. <laughs> what do you mean? You had 24 hours to live. Yeah. Are you back already? Oh, yeah. The dog wanted to run, so I got done quicker. <laughs> so, uh, fell, fell in here. Uh, <sighs> the party believe you that you were beat up by a girl in the middle of the night. Right. Like no questions asked. You're like, yeah, no, I can see that. <laughs> My girl. I mean, right. See what I meant when it wasn't believable. I meant like a random. Oh yeah, the no, no. Up part. No, 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 no. They, they, they're aware that it's a random woman. They, they, they believe a random woman came in to the camp, sat down and had a conversation with you, gave you the letter, and beat the shit out of you. They believe all of it. Ah, my opinion is not high of the dragon man. <laughs> See, it increased. I mean, the, same. It increased I, 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 I told, I totally believe that he could get beat up by a normal woman. Yeah, just that uh, Mogax, Mogax is gonna be fucking. Is just gonna be silent. Yeah. After that. <laughs> then, as you head to Oakhurst. The next day, after having your delicious, delicious meal. For breakfast, a delicious, delicious veal? Meal. Veal. You saw. Uh, head to town. 
if there you see a rather old friend. As he just stands there. Oh, hello. Is it the woman that beat me up? Hey, oh. Michelle? Yes. <laughs> Jan in there with his dour looking face. Oh, I'll tell you what, I was, uh, I was watching the patrol last night. Oh, God, it's him. Strangest thing, I, I swear. Every, every time I blinked, I thought, that can't be right, but trees seem to have gone missing. And I thought, there's, there's no way this has happened, but now in the the, the break of I do see, in fact, that trees have gone missing. It's a rather strange and peculiar state of mind. I don't suppose that you know anything about it, because I was told that you went to stop the blight, and, well, I thought with my friends that you would be able to do that, and I've heard that you have failed, but I don't I don't doubt that for a minute. He's brought back a, a person as well, which was really good whilst we were interrogating him, but then, and I believe it or not, it was the weirdest of magics, I swear, I've never seen it in my life, but he was sitting there, and he was in the middle of a conversation, and I thought, He's been really uncooperative, and we threatened him. We we may or may not have. Um, I'll tell you now. I'm considering quitting this job and going oh, elsewhere. Um, but regardless, <laughs> regardless, I was, we were speaking with him. He seemed to almost petrify as we got a, a cleric, and he'd. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Right. I've all in the trees. Well, he'll make excellent kindling, I think. But I think that's maybe what they're going to do, but there's also a town bonfire as a result. Uh, they're planning on burning uh, the body just in case, and I think that'll be a, a really nice way to bring the community spirits up high, but I don't know quite what they'll do about the, the farming and the crops. This is not a place to be anymore. I, I definitely. Where did you say you were That's from again? Plenty. What did oh. you say you were from again? A lot of places, but nowadays the keep. Hmm. At the the keep by Neverwinter. Uh, so I think I've got a cousin no, no, who works no. there. Long saddle. Uh, oh. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, what brings you here? Um, want to report to the mayor that his messenger got intercepted by someone? Hmm. Okay. And he just walks off. Just, nice just kind of stand in the middle of the town. He walks off in the exact opposite direction towards the, the town entrance. Thank God. This is my favourite that... NPC. <laughs> <laughs> if I die, can I play him? <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> uh, Elfo, you were sitting there? Yeah, who's that again? You weren't here for him, session one, Jameson. T town guard that just rambles and rambles and rambles and gets stuck on his own side tangents. So like the the fan from Oblivion? So he's a D and D player. Oh no, he's he's considerably worse. He'll he'll, <laughs> he'll have a relatable moment, and then he'll tell you everything that happened in that relatable moment, and then when he gets to a relatable moment in that relatable moment, he then tangents off from there. He's it's, autistic. It's like the story never truly finishes because he's always <laughs> like he's telling you every granular minute detail including his own thoughts at that time. That is the most autistic goaded character I have seen. Again, D and D player. <laughs> yeah, but like info dumping autistic. Which not all D and D players are. Again, D and D No, not all of them are info dumping. <laughs> Most of them are. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. I mean, now, now I just need to like, get the video of like the person that I'm like, you know. Because. Oh. 
I swear to God, it's Uncle Colm from Derry Girls. It is Uncle Colm from Derry Girls. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking you. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I want someone completely wrong, because he was my favourite character that entire show. Oh my god, he's so relatable. Yes. <laughs> like I love the I love the scene with him and Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> or the one where he's with the nun and she's like, Jesus Christ, just kill me yeah. now. <laughs> Am I dead? <laughs> That's what hell feels like. Or he talks about when the IRE break into his house. Uh, no, the, the 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 taller fella. No, I say taller. There was no more than an inch in it, you know. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and then the other fella. He took me by my shoelace, my good shoelaces now. And I only got them there last week down at the shopping centre, you see. And you know when I got those shoelaces, I thought, man, you got a really good shoelace. That's pretty much yeah. it, yeah. That's that's just it. It's constant tangents. He's great. But you stand here in the middle of this little town, everybody seeming oh, rather quite fucking depressed, but there is a pyre being built. And as you look around the little water feature fountain in the middle of the town the water pressure alone is quite low the water looks quite muddied and dirty you see mayor kind of walking on out looking around surveying everything gather energy is what you're getting off of this guy is there a crowd around the pyre a small crowd, just people throwing all manner of shit they don't want on there just to help it burn. Yeah, okay. What's the plan here? Can I go and talk to someone standing beside the pyre? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. just some random... Just some random art, just... Young guy, white just, apron, and a black just hair. Just some rando on the street. <laughs> yeah, looks yeah. like a looks like a baker. Uh, what's the story with the with the pyre? Then what's going on? It's the uh, strangest thing. The guy that you brought in has. He's dead. He died mid questioning. Uh, that's a blight for you. It's a bastard. Blight's a bitch, eh? <laughs> oh, blight. Oh my god, you're. I'm just gonna give him the side. The, if that was if that was uh, obvious, I'll give him the side eye. Look, really, that's just mocker, really. <laughs> I'm, he, I'm, I wanna kill him with my look. So I think that counts. Unleash your string of insults, at least. With I mean, he was, he was, that was just so insensitive. That was just such an insensitive thing to say. See, you know, looks at you. Can you be yeah. more insensitive and send him a bitch? What's, uh, what's going on? Have you found any other uh, information? Aye, uh, so the trees have it as well. They're moving around. We woke up and half, half of the half the trees around us disappeared. Another half are looking, are looking quite sickly. I have a plan though, but uh, some people are they're not willing to sacrifice what it takes to save the town. And what's your plan? Similar to yours, actually. I say we burn the forest, let the healthy roots grow back. Kill the blight off. Uh, the blight's uh, in the soil, though. Ah, well, the, yeah. fi the, the roots go in the soil, the fire goes in the soil, the fire heats up the soil, and the blight dies off. The blight goes deeper than you think. That's fine. But right now, we have a flock of blight trees spreading the blight. We need to destroy the blight trees before they spread it to who knows where. Neverwinter. Sword Mountains. Waterdeep, perhaps. Mirabar. 
Your bar is just over those mountains. Yeah. But well, not the idea we'd go for, but that's what well, you wish to do. Personally, I'm. What you're doing? Oh, we're just I was thinking burning like... the body out of respect. It was his final yeah. wishes. Oh. Did he say anything more before he died? Anything useful? I very much. Uh, uh, very much wasn't forthcoming from what I hear. Z. Yeah. Near. And it steps in at that point there. Yeah. He, uh, he blamed. Use for interrupting. He. Uh, wished that he could have done more. Um, he, he also blamed some woman. He said that she was stupid with her magic. Hmm. Okay. Um, by the way, side note, Mayor. Hmm? Uh, your messenger, have you sent it to the keep? Yes, I sent it about two hours after you uh, left. You found the letter. I think he got intercepted. They got intercepted. Hmm. That's strange. Keep replied this morning. He holds up a little piece of paper with the keep stamp. Oh. Morgax? Show him the letter Pepsi's from your bully right last night. <laughs> Pepsi is on mute right now. He'll be back soon. <laughs> I'm here. I'll show the letter Sorry. again. What do you need? I'm uh, tell us about the bully last night. The one that beat you up. And the letter that we got. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't have my letter anymore, so you know, can't really one for one show you. Well, can we know what the keep said? Do they have any advice? Uh, now they've written back to say that the blight has been spotted at least a, a mile away from the keep now. Ah, interesting. Great. Okay, bye. We're heading to the keep. Bye. Toodaloo. Alright, I have no idea what the hell we're going to do about this. These are walking through the town. Yeah. A young woman. Rather quite out of place. Yeah. A frizzed red hair tied up, rather quite young, dressed in robes, kind of priestly robes. And she stands about looking, or she starts kind of like writing in a journal and yeah. just watches the crowd and everything that's going on. Move closer towards the crowd and passes by yourselves. Uh, you can all roll a perception check if you like. Yeah. It's time to nice perceive. Shot. And to perceive. Oh, I see the face of God. <laughs> and why is he a why is he a bearded scuff? <laughs> Well, guys, you clock that she walks past 
Unless at you clock as well. She kind of walks past. Does you know look at yourselves after a quick glance of the eyes and head turn just to see what's going on before going back. Kind of like you know, fucking like aim assist and call of duty type deal where it's like you know kind of pulls away for a little moment before going back. <laughs> Aku, you swear that that bread smells so good right now. <laughs> I don't know why you've got advantage. <laughs> Arkrat would love that. <laughs> uh, Red Oh, so I see someone turning there. Yes. It's a uh, fucking dreary day, miserable day. <laughs> Not so much mm -hmm. turn their head, but more of that sort of like late cock. So you're walking like that, you know. Almost like side eye. But more just in a. notating your presence. Can I head towards them? Yeah. And Sebon walks forward and you kind of turn heel ring to the woman. Wait a minute, this better not be the frickin' woman from last night. <laughs> oh, no, 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 far too pretty for that. He's like a solid 8 out of 10 here. She's walking forward towards the group and... Yeah, you know, they see the group, the crowd, and writing shit down. Mm -hmm. You said she was, like, excited looking or something? No, it's Noted. inquisitive. And she's no take. She's constantly writing stuff down she's getting closer and like kind of you know taking weird turns but definitely so that she can just see what's going on you know so that take a few steps right. forward then like turn to the side a little and before going back gotcha oi what you writing over there ah uh, stuff uh -huh, what kind of stuff buddy words what are you writing about? My experiences. Yes, and wait, that's And right. I slap him on the head. Can you be even? Can you be more ruder? What? Look, I see a random person look at us for a second, start writing stuff. I'm going to get curious. Yeah, but you don't have to be rude about it. Lady, I just got. I just got beaten up last night. Give me a break. It's not her fault. It's not my our fault either. Oh, sorry for being a little suspicious. Uh, anyways. So, I suppose, uh, just like, gritting his teeth, trying to be nice. So, uh, what have you experienced so far? The death and destruction of my note? absolute psyche within this particular world is burning down to the ground, but I'm well aware that it's not my fault that this place is burning to the ground, and there's nothing I can do to stop that. The world will end, and it's not my fault, but that's okay, I've accepted my fate. That's my Good experience. for you! You know I what, I, I'm gonna leave you to uh, uh, fate, as it were. Uh, have a good day. See, like, awkwardly shuffles back. She kind of shouts as you're leaving. Mm -hmm. Gotta click a thing real quick. The, the Tharok sends his regards. Oh, wait, what? As you're like turning back. Hmm? Wait, Tharok? Wait, okay. wait, wh where is he? Wait, what did he do? He's left everything you know? that you need with you. He's going elsewhere to pursue other things. How do you know Thera? He smells. All right then. Uh, you know what? I need to learn to questioning things. Otherwise, I might get beat up again. Have a lovely day. Thanks for the. Re uh, He's gonna head back to the group. Make a perception check. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, gotcha. Watch it be in that one. <laughs> Damn, it was almost funny. At this point, you're in pain. Physically, emotionally. You do feel something. In your back pocket. I would like to check my back pocket. You find a card in your back pocket. A card that you've seen way too often now. The end is near. Particular red comic card. And a small piece of paper. It's in Tharok's it handwriting. It states that it's that small list. Citadel in Oakhurst. Your mother. <laughs> Citadel in Oakhurst. Netherese objects. Worth plenty of coin. Cult? Question mark? Card? Question mark. Well. Uh, Renfrey, could you do me a favour? Hmm. Could you I'm grab the able... others uh, just somewhere a bit off away from uh, prying eyes? As he like folds the letter and like stores it away and like heads off um, a bit like I guess off road away from like general public. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Hey guys. Make sure no one else hears about our. I think fabulous. Mulga wants to talk to us finally. <laughs> so we're private. Okay. He got a letter from someone on the street, and I think. I don't know what it means, but he got real serious. How much? I assume Molgax would have like a passing knowledge on Netherese, at least. Yeah, not like about specific objects, but like just existing. Yeah, you, you. I would say you know, you know, he's, he's all know of the Netherese in the same way that everybody knows about like the Holy Roman Empire and like the yeah. Greek gods and the Vikings. You know, it's like it's a type of history they people were okay for. Big boys. Yeah. Yeah, so like, you know, it's like. Ooh. This is all huddle in a small area, unless other people are doing other things. Mm hmm. This is all huddle in a small area. Idea? Outside of the. Instead of the general viewing of everybody. Now then. Well, let's just say Therok left us a message. Yeah. Uh, here, I'm gonna like pass the note along, and then like flash the card for like a few seconds, and then stow the card away. Seems like there might be an object of interest here in Oakhurst. We just have to figure out where to look. And given the object's origin, potentially. Could be powerful enough to save a town. Maybe. What object was it again? Oak pursed. What object right. was it? Oh, it just said object, didn't it? Yep. Netherese object. Don't know, but if it's Netherese, it has to be powerful. Hmm. And potentially very, very dangerous, like world but, ending dangerous. <laughs> but could also save the town. And by proxy the rest of the coast. So we're not going back to the keep yet. We're doing a side quest now. Yeah, more of more if of you want to bring some quest. 
<laughs> we've we've I mean, gone. The only places we haven't gone to is that one door that I couldn't punch through and we couldn't lock pick through. There's also that entryway to the Underdark near Ballsack. There's also an entry. Hmm. Well. We need the keys for the other door. Wait, why are we talking about what? going back there? Back. I don't know. Where, it's... where else is there to look? Oak. What so object, what object, object are we first, looking for? Right? Yes, in the general area, that... of course. Maybe Where did you trip? hear this? I just told you. Uh, I wasn't Arrow listening, crit. sorry. I was pressing Fat Prat. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Thalok sent us, left us a message, basically. Who? <laughs> the the, the, the half-orc we've been traveling with? Who dipped after I don't, the druid fight? I don't see race, dude. Oh, oh Tyrok, okay. Jesus. He sent us a message, okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, I understand now. What else do we know? What What's the full message? Sorry, can you repeat? Uh, Does, do we repeats, have clues? Repeats the message, glorious PM. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, has, it says, um... Oak, Yo mama. Oakhurst. Yeah. Oakhurst Blight. Netherese object? Question mark. Cult. The uh, comet. The card? Question mark. Cult? Question mark. And the card was a, um, what you call it? a, you know, fucking. The comet card. Comet card. There we go. Four. Okay. One of these. So wait, is does he mean that someone in the in the vicinity of the town caused the blight with the object or something that might also to be that instead of just the stake growing into a tree? Could be anything. It's our best bet. Well, guys, you, you who were so aware and doing this, mm -hmm. he watches the woman trying to blend in with the crowd, but doing it horribly. Like, you know, sprinting and trying to stealth an Assassin's Creed at the same time. <laughs> Is leaving the town once more with her little book already in her side satchel and just kind of walking on out. You, just, you guys would just hear Mo Molgax like looking off to like presumably nothing and just say, My god, she's terrible, let's. <laughs> <laughs> she's as bad as stealth as I am punching. <laughs> she. Start. <Stop. laughs> now then. Maybe... What if this place sells battering ram? <laughs> what? What if this place, this place, place has a battering ram borrow? Hmm. Hmm. Alright then. <sighs> So, places we haven't checked is... Well, obviously there's the ruins nearby town. With the goblins and wolves. With the, uh, two doors. You know. The ones we couldn't get open. And there's the underdark entrance. The, uh, underground portion with the, uh, with Balsag. And then... I can't think of anywhere to particularly look at town itself, but we could always give uh, it the old um, wizard college try. Yeah. 
I think college is a scam. That's. I think you're a no. scam also. No. <laughs> Listen. Wizard college this, wizard Cosard college that. If you just kill a bunch of goblins with magic, you'll you'll learn more magic. I feel like you're just trying to sell. Let's let's try it out. Um, let's ask around. Uh, old uh, legends, yeah. old meats. Yo, okay, there town. we go. Don't be so unsubtle. What? Well, so I'm gonna All ask right? what he's looking for in town, just curiosity, and I'll give you some brief information in terms of you know, in terms of random checks and such, just because I'm conscious over time. Here, Hawker, you had an idea, so you want to say first? Yeah, just. Ask around town first about old legends, old myths. Yeah. Something related to powerful <laughs> artifacts. So, here's what I'm going to ask you, Haku. Right? And someone can help you if you wish. I'll help. I'm going to ask you for persuasion, insight, and you can add to the persuasion check up to plus 10 but you must remove 10 gold pieces as a bribe so for every plus you want to add remove a gold piece as a bribe does that make sense oh okay can i and decide I'm after i roll you can I'm just gonna roll three random d20s on my side as well. Pretty good at persuasion. Molgax is willing fine. to help you. Yeah. So okay. hold hold Alt when you make the ability check. No. There we go. Okay. And then insight. I'll spend ten gold. Yeah, so that's twenty-seven. Oh wait. Can I use the plus gold on insight instead, or...? Yeah, you can do it there instead, yeah. Okay. Advantage, sorry. That's right, just roll another d20. Just flat it. You got plus no, one to the math there's work. There's no more, no more plus sign, okay. Yeah, that's one thing I'm trying to work on, so... 17-17, cool, cool. And then a the deception. Deception. I forgot the advantage again, cool. sorry. Motherfucker rolls three seventeens. Nice. That's Let's nope. ten gold. Ten to where? Or you wanna like split that Anywhere. Up? Yeah. You could You could three 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 for twenty and then give like twenty one on one of them. If oh, am I allowed to pay my own gold to throw up? As yeah, well? you can well, separately. No, he's the one doing the oh. talk, and you just kind of like you know schmoozing oh, okay. away. Uh there was once what was believed to be a Netherese object in time. You hear about this. Once was some time ago. Some adventurer, a bald monk. From Candlekeep had came by at some point and had apparently removed it. He settled in Mirabar for a while, it then moved from Mirabar down towards Long Saddle. Shortly after this, the keep came about. And the Netherese object seemed to vanish within that particular area. The object was what here, area? moved up, and then moved down, and vanished within this area. <laughs> It wasn't long after it was moved from Mirabar that the keep came about. Really need to name this keep. <laughs> can't, can't just keep calling it the keep. There's 
been no netheries object. <laughs> been no netheries object in this town since at least 1370 DR. And it's now it's now the 1400s, late 1400s. Mm. Those old as balls. Yeah. It's older than the dragon. <laughs> okay, so it's in the keep area. All right. Well, good shit. I guess we do our next search around the keep. Ask around the keep as well. Yeah. Then is there any other business you wish to conclude in Oakhurst? Are there any brothels in here? No. I'm sorry, what? No. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's them! Let's them! <laughs> so this is a Catholic town, okay? Everybody here is married, um, and those that aren't married are going to be married when they turn legal age. I'll have I I vote execution. <laughs> Just asking. I, I vote execution. Uh, I mean, there's famine in here. The ladies would be really petite. So, if there's nothing we're doing here... I thought you were here, happily married. I am, I am. Then why are you, do you want to look for a brothel? For more gags, really. Ah, okay. Then let's keep looking. Maybe he'll get some luck. Or not. I mean, you know how he looks. Black eyed. There's nothing of the sort in this town. There's, no, there's nothing of such in the town. No brothels of that. No, no, no. Keep it away from that. It's only in Waterdeep. Yeah. And this, Baldur's Gate. This place has four buildings. <laughs> hey, one of them could be a... A building could be multi-purpose. <laughs> I'm going to say you're leaving now. Sir. Headed back towards the keep with a clear goal in mind what you're looking for. And so you get there with no issues at all. And we'll pick it up next week. Oh.